What's up, guys? Stud Fit here. We are here for episode 42 of Cart Talk. Can't believe we've had 42 consecutive tours of Cart Talk. And just like from episode one all the way down to episode 42, uh, we're joined by one of the uh, the co-inspirers, uh, Sammy D from Cart Life. Welcome, Sammy D. How are you doing, man? Good. What's up, everybody? Good to see you guys. Good to meet you, Rashid. And uh, let's, let's, let's hang. Yeah, man. Uh, we do have some super studs back with us. Uh, as always, it's nice to have some returning characters uh, and opinions to get uh, to see what's changed in a while. Uh, Jeeves was on our last episode, but welcome uh, back, Jeeves. How are you doing, man? I'm good. Yeah, I saw Sam and he was going to be on, so I was like, oh, I got I better better show up. So this is I, a big episode, man. This right, is a big episode. Right. We got a lot going on. I showered, um, I shaved. <laughs> I'm supposed to be getting ready for a trip tomorrow, but my wife's letting me do this. So yes. right. thanks, Mrs. Jeeves. Thank right. you, Mrs. Jeeves. Uh, shout out to Miss Jeeves. Yeah, let's go. Um, then we have the two frenzies, uh, frenzy fans and frenzy grind. What's up, fancy fans? You guys are uh, in a remote location. Uh, thanks for taking the time to join us. How are you guys doing? Doing well, doing well. Thanks for having us on. Yeah, stoked to be here. And you like literally invited us right before we left the house. So I grabbed like the on the go <laughs> oh. studio. So we were prepared. I was like, yes, we're coming. <laughs> nice. Good. And then friend Z grind. What's up, Z? How are you doing, man? I'm good. Happy to be back. Uh, thanks for the invite. But this all-star panel couldn't turn this down. Um, happy to be here and have a great conversation tonight. Awesome, man. Excited. And uh, one of one of uh, the gentlemen that I've been wanting to get on to Car Talk for quite some while, but uh, seeing how he lives in Singapore, it's a little hard to uh, to coordinate his schedules. But thank you, Rashid. Uh, those of you who uh, ever take a look at the um, all cup ranking predictions and the cutoffs for top 1000, top 100, uh, top 10, those are all released through Rashid. Uh, in addition to all the hitbox uh, dimensions. Uh, he runs all those calculations. He has to get every cart and uh, and and do the t- uh, dimensions himself. So uh, those of you who who had not known of or heard of him, he is the man behind both of those resources. Uh, and also number three in the All Cup ranking from last number three, literally number three on the All Cup ranking last tour. Congratulations! Wow. Welcome, Rashid. How you doing? Uh, doing great. Doing great. Uh, thanks for having me. Yeah, so it has been a long time overdue for me. People wanted to see how I look like. You know, no Bob, no more but me. So here I am. There you mm-hmm. are. Well, yeah, uh, certainly a, a good face reveal is always uh, always brings in uh, new viewers. But uh, I'm curious. You know, obviously, uh, you did a lot, a uh, lot of grinding, spent a lot of time in your own city there in Singapore. What's your thought process uh, or assessment of how Mario Kart treated your city? So initially, I thought it would be a Singapore tour, but in the end, it was Asian tour, but that's, that's still okay. And, uh, you know, for this winter tour, there were like three cities. So it was all Asia, Tokyo, Bangkok, and uh, Singapore. And we had uh, three variants for Singapore, so three times four, about 12, 12 cities. So I think it's good uh, representation. And uh, yeah, so I think it, it's nice. I mean, it's, uh, in terms of, um, you know, uh, architecture, monuments that we see in the uh, on landmarks that you see in the truck, yeah, it's all pretty accurate, so pretty nice. Awesome, man. Like well, we're excited to have you here tonight, and uh, like I said, you, you've uh, been part of the leadership for ER for quite some time, and it's uh, we've now had everyone uh, there from that leadership brought on, so um, I fulfilled uh, fulfilled my promise, so I'm just so glad that you're here. You've been a great friend to me personally, um, as well as also um, helped the, the community at large, so thank you for everything you do. Um, let's get into it, guys. We've got a nice little icebreaker here, so this tour, we have this new Prawn and Plant Cove, which we'll get to a lot more here in a little bit about nitro versus non-nitro, but I just thought we'd open it up. What is your favorite <clears throat> non-city nitro? So for those who are new to the community, we're always welcoming new viewers. Nitro are tracks that have been created specifically for uh, the mobile game. Uh, so they have in the code MOB, meaning mobile, uh, right. but essentially these are tracks like Ninja Hideaway. These are tracks like uh, Sky High Sunday, Mary Mountain, and now Prana Plant Cove. These are tracks that were created for Mario Kart Tour, as well as also uh, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe now, now that that's been incorporated. And now we even have this uh, this new Yoshi uh, track coming in uh, here in the near future. It seems like uh, Mario Kart 8 actually got that first, but uh, it's okay. It's, I'm sure it was created or thought of in Mario Kart Tour um, mentality. So I wanted to ask you guys, what is your favorite non-city Nitro track? Ninja Hideaway, Mary Mountain, Sky High Sunday, 
uh, or this prom plan cove and why. So we'll start with you, Sammy D. I'm sure you have uh, a strong opinion on this. What's your favorite? Uh, uh, well, I, just, I just assume we'll all say Ninja Hideaway, but uh, just because it was the first, you know, we had that like two month lead up with the image. There's just so much hype around it. Obviously, we've talked about that tour to death now, if you were there for it. Um, and it's just hard to top that one, right? Um, they're all they're all special. Mary Mountain's even kind of more and more nostalgic. It's back for some reason. Uh, it's Christmas time, and it feels good to race that track. Um, Sky has Sunday's maybe the simpler of them. I, I, I thought Prana Plant Cove was awesome, um, but the, the the multiple routes of uh, Prana Plant Cove kind of are a mixed bag to me because by splitting it up, you're you're making multiple versions and so they're going to just feel sh some of them will feel shorter like it's pretty short like each variant but if they had done like made one long like imagine like 3ds bowser's castle or something like that that's just it's like a long epic track through all of i would rather have one long epic track but uh i don't know if you guys saw uh koopa v did a uh walk through or a fly through through the the render of the whole track showing the third route it looks awesome so wow um i'm, I'm a hyper prana plant three uh cove three but yeah ninja hideaway is just it's just so awesome so i i mean we probably all agree on that right yeah maybe i want to we'll yeah. see anyone in agreement with ninja hideaway i'll let you raise your hand and then tell us why so we'll we'll go over to uh frenzy fans uh i actually surprised usually frenzy fans you, you find some loophole somewhere and you, you, you find some track that uh, qualifies as a nitro, but it sounds like Ninja Hideaway is it for you. Yeah, I think for me, that was uh, my first attempt at ACR. And so that's my first ACR 1000 badge is that uh, Shy Guy Ninja. So it's kind of got a place, you know, near and dear to my heart. But I think kind of a twist on this question, if we were to go with the one that we dislike the most, it has <laughs> got to be the stinking freaking Piranha Plant Cove. Dude. Like, why so much underwater driving? <laughs> like, it's unbelievable. So many tracks just underwater. It's like, it's like Marine Mead game <laughs> like, well it's not just underwater, but the, the fall the falling especially the falling. it's that's what does it that's the worst thing in the game is when you have to fall and you yeah like why i i, I feel yeah. like it was some some programmer it, he's he's like the the nephew of like some ceo over there at dna and he's like this programmer he's like oh i'm gonna change the physics for underwater and everybody hates it the whole entire world hates it but since the programmer that's the the nephew of the ceo they can't get rid of it and <laughs> they have guy, to include it like, yeah he they like, have to he, he he keeps on you know <laughs> yeah i don't yeah, know I, I, can't, I can't even speak i get so frustrated with these courses <laughs> i was just like do you remember in mario 64 uh in one of the tracks you could find a switch and it like drains the Oh, like, I wish there were like a secret thing you throw a shell and it would like drain the prop and go, you know. That'd be so cool. No, or if they just kind of physics the same, like have us go underwater, but don't have like everything be like a third the gravity and a sixth the traction. And yeah. like, why? It's so just old. I, 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 it's just, no. and yeah. you know, what's funny is that the, and we'll get, we'll get, uh, how about we just say, how we'll, we'll talk a lot more about Prana Play Cove uh, here in a couple of seconds because yeah. we will get to the tour itself. Uh, but yeah, I'm with you there 100%. Great points. And I think we'll be able to expound on that pretty, pretty quickly. Hopefully, we won't uh, uh, reopen some of those wounds for you that are seem pretty fresh. But Frenzy fans, gal, what would you, uh, do you want, do you agree or what, uh, how, what, what would you like to add to that? Ninja Hideaway. I, I guess I'll bring it back on a positive note. No, no, Frenzy Fangirl. <laughs> I love Ninja Hideaway. I love, okay, so in the game, I love the dark color schemes, like anything that kind of has like that dark moody feel, I love. Um, and then I love the Japanese dojo in there. I think they call it the Ninja Manor, but I just, I love the Japanese culture and everything that they brought to it. So that's why I like it. Yeah. Cool. We'll go to UZ. What do you, uh, What's your Listen, favorite? I love scene? Ninja Hideaway, but I got to be that guy. Uh, it's a 1A, 1B for me. Uh, they're both amazing tracks. I'm going to go with Merry Mountain because oh. it's far and away the most beautifully designed track in the game, in my opinion. Santa flying, dropping coins from his sleigh, ringing his bell, <laughs> the snow falling, uh, the gingerbread houses. I, the music is amazing. 
I'm going to go with that as my pick. And again, it's very close. It's very close. I love Ninja Hideaway also, the music, the, the going upstairs, the downstairs. But my only issue with Merry Mountain is that they got to fix that coin box glitch on the R version. It's just horrendous. It's like, it's it's like, you're, driving, the, it's like yeah. you're driving in the wind and just all your coins are just going over your head. It's just, I don't know, like two, three years now, they couldn't fix that glitch yet. It's not a glitch. It's just like going up this angle, and it's just the gravity. Yeah. It's not. Yeah. Well, I think they're just trying to to make tracks so it's like not, you know. But why would I want to get a coin box on the first? Well, box? you maybe yeah. That's the thing. Maybe it's not a good coin box track. Yeah, it might not start be a good coin box track. Well, yeah. then Bowser Santa should be taken off the track then. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, but you're going if you're going down, you get the coin box, man. You're, you're crushing it. So yeah, you know, yeah. it's it's uh, it's. I, that's what I do like about what Nintendo is doing. And yeah, as much as we hate like the water and stuff, like it does, there are certain points where we're like, I need a coin box frenzy and, you know, item box one and four. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, mm -hmm. there's like certain parts about the game where we do actually have like to, to hit the RNG at specific points on the tracks. I do think that's kind of interesting. It's annoying, mm -hmm. annoying at times, 100%. But uh, yeah, no, it kind of you makes, know, kind of spices things let's up. Let's go with a coin frenzy start and then I guess we're good, but. Well, I mean, it's like when they when they have all these, uh, you know, the, all these uh, tracks with giant banana. I'm like, oh, I'm going to use my giant banana, but it's got like multiple pathways, so it's like and gliding sections. Yeah, and so it's just you know, I mean, I, I, I you're right. It is like frustrating. It's annoying, but that's just kind of way to think about. Okay, which is the best skill here? Let's not. I mean, yes, yeah. king. But that was the same. That was the same glitch on Wii Rainbow Road when it came out. Not a glitch. Like on the box, right? <laughs> yeah, it's not a glitch. It's just, that's why, said D, well, that's why I said DK Mountain. A problem. Would, that's why I said DK Mountain would be a bad track to add because any mountain track, you're going to have that. It's just not yeah. good going up a mountain. Rock Rock I mean, Mountain, I think same the, deal. I think the, the most frustrating thing with Piranha Pit, Piranha Pit Cove is like it's, it's really hard to full combo. I mean, you, there's that one section, I think, is it in the R? I can't remember. You when you're going down, I, yeah. I mean, I think well, auto drift short of something where you have to dip and then hit the jellyfish, and I'm like, oh, I mean, that's great, but it's really hard to do. Yeah, but uh, you know, it's it's Very technical, and, and yeah. I think, I I think they should make, I mean, every track to where you can, I mean, where you can get a full combo. I mean, you may have to work at it, but like not make it impossible like that uh, yeah. Riverside, whatever, where you're down that bridge where you can have a level eight glider and I still can't get it um, unless I use an item ticket or something. Yeah. All right. Well, again, going to a positive yeah. note, Jeeves, what is your- <laughs> Going back to the question, I like Ninja Hideaway and uh, I basically, because like when I, when, I, when I judge tracks, uh, I, I I look at all variants and stuff, and they have very they're all variants are just a lot of fun to play. I like, you know, the the different, you know, paths you the the floors that go up and down. You can you know, I like the little shy guys that turn into bananas and whatever. Um, That's secret coin room, man. They need more stuff yeah, like that. Like they need more cool. like hid, hidden hidden yeah. routes and like. I wish there were more things like that in different tracks. Yeah. Like you, you throw a bomb and this and it opens up a path and you go through, yeah. you know, stuff like that. But I think I think that's one where just I think I just like all of the variants, like the T, the R, the the normal. Um, so yeah, yeah. You know what? My one of my favorite parts of any track, just just because it's so technical, but it's so cool when you do it, is the calamari desert. I think it's two R or uh, where you have the train and then you have all these coins in the air. Yeah, and you got to you got to bump into the train and kind of like wrap yourself right up time. and you can get all these coins. I've only done it like three times. Has anybody yeah. ever gotten those? <laughs> I've, got, I've gotten it like three times. I've gotten yeah, it a couple once. times a couple out of like three hundred. So it's not yeah. normal, but uh, yeah, I've gotten it. When I get it, like that seems like the boomboxing of like doing stuff on tracks. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Rashid, uh, what's your opinion, man? What's your favorite non-city nitro track? So I'll go with the flow actually is really Ninja Hideaway. Mm -hmm. So it's all about the theme, you know, Japanese, Thai, you know, social, everything. And then, you know, comparing to Merry Mountain's Christmas, and Thai High Sunday, it's all this glitter, you know, all over the places. <laughs> so yeah, Sky High Sunday, I, I really, really don't like it because of the, of the spaces, all these spaces, all these spaces. Merry Mountain is not so bad, but yeah, going up and down in corn box is really hard. Even without the cone box, you know, uh, when you're going down on that section before the, the, the finish line, 
it's sometimes it's not easy to, to, to get those coins, you know, like that, you know, to go so <clears throat> a bit right or left, and then you can easily uh, drift off. So, yeah, not, not enjoyable for, for that person. Um, yeah, in terms of, uh, you know, what kind of skills uh, are on those tracks, so if you have cone box, yeah, definitely it's not so, so great on the uh, on the Nere mountain because of up and down. And now, like a Jeep mentioned for Jan Banana on Ninja Hideaway, yeah, have multiple paths. So yes, of course, I, you, know, you don't know in advance what they are going. And uh, I like actually I start to like boom boxing. So yeah, initially yeah, boom boxing was really tough for me. You now a lot of grind, but uh, you know, slowly over time. Uh, to enjoy more and more boom boxing. So I'm thinking that's another plus for uh, Ninja Hideaway. Uh, really like it. Yeah, so last tour, you got number three in the world in all cup ranking. Um, what was, uh, how many tracks did you have to boom box and do you, do you still love it? Uh, or are you, are you exhausted from, from boom boxing? Oh yeah, I learned that I have a limit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The total five tracks, right? And uh, I got exhausted after I think 12, 12 tracks, I was like, wow, another four tracks to boombox for that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, anything so, else yeah, you learned 20, from your experience, man? I'm sure it was grueling. <laughs> uh, yeah, I need, again, I need to manage your time uh, properly. That, that's the thing. I uh, ran out of time, so I was doing pretty well all the way until the, uh, three, four days uh, before uh, the, uh, the end of the tour. So pretty high percentage. But then in the end, I just run out of time to just finish it up and, and manage to get my But it was not so competitive, so it was really uh, kind of, uh, uh, easy to also to get some time. And uh, uh, DJ Jeeves for forgetting it. <laughs> that was my next transition. Congratulations to Jeeves on his very first top 10. In fact, crushed it number eight in all cup ranking. Let's give a round of applause for Jeeves. Congratulations, <laughs> man. Uh, what was that experience like? Why'd you do it? And uh, tell tell us what you learned, man. What's you made past you? attempts. What? You you had made past attempts. Yeah, I mean, I made one, one other attempt. I felt like you know, I came in twelve. That was uh, it was it, you know, it was it was a good learning experience. It was hard. It was difficult, and but um, this one, I I mean, I want to say it just it, it really came naturally. I was expecting. I want to say um i didn't play any more or any less than i usually do maybe a little more i don't know of course towards the end because i just expected to kind of keep going down and i and i and i didn't um and i i mean i know it's an all city tour so it's you know it was okay so and i was i was kind of nervous because i was like you know it it's a it, it takes a toll on you it's not like top 10 is not for the faint of heart it's 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 stressful and if things don't work out, it can really bug you because it, it, it did for me. I mean, it was, I mean, like I said, last time it was a, it, it was a good, ex I mean, it was a learning experience, but you know, there were some dark points that it's not, I don't really like to share about, but like there were some dark times. Um, but I think it was like the Sunday night before the tour, I think, you know, auto, auto, Rashid, you said to me, hey, <laughs> what, you know, I'm like, oh crap. <laughs> You know, I don't, like I didn't want to even think about it. In fact, I first told the I said, no, I'm just going to save or whatever. It's like, yeah, good idea. <laughs> and then like I didn't. <laughs> You're like, wait a second. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then I was talking to God mode and he was like, are you sure you want to do this? You want to like, I said, I don't know. <laughs> and he's like, well, just, you know, look after your mental health and, you know, you, you know, do you, you know, I just, I'm just really concerned for you, man. You're my buddy and stuff. And, but then he's like, but by God, if you pull this off, you shake <laughs> up the community so much. I'm like, well, thanks. <laughs> but like, that's one of the things like I'll never forget about him. Like, but if you do this, man, it would just be nuts. <laughs> so um, late, <clears throat> late Sunday night, I, I, uh, I, I, I went on in the glider on the 2023 glider. I took that from like three to eight triple cap. Whoa, so oh, more wow. there, you know? Because Rashid told me, he said, do one at a time. Remember you telling me that? So don't yeah. don't raise all your levels at once. Do one at a time. So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna start with a glider, okay? So that was the most tickets I had. So it's like I wasn't gonna break the bank, and so I got somewhere there. And so I was just still hanging in there. And then late Monday night, 
I was in with, you know, with everyone and we, I, I spent all my tickets on the yellow me suit and that hot pot car cart. Okay. Took like from like one to eight triple cap, all of them. And then <laughs> it kind of worked out that my daughter got sick and my wife, oh, sounds great. my wife was having, well, no, I'll tell you why, because my daughter got sick. She had to stay home from school and my wife had oral surgery that Tuesday, the, the, the day the tour ended. So I just said, okay, I'm just going to call in sick for work. And so like my, my daughter will be sick. She'll be just in bed or whatever. My wife will be doing her oral surgery. I'll be home grinding. Yeah, like I'm getting down this. <laughs> right. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I mean, that yellow me suit was just huge. And with a giant banana, it's not really hard to get the big runs there. It's not like a boom boom box or a coin, coin box. So yeah, it was just, I mean, it was, I really like, I remember old frenzy grind. You remember when we said, we're all going to just chill, right? Remember that? I was going to chill. We're not spending any tickets. Someone broke the pact, oh obviously. <laughs> obviously. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it just, it was crazy. Like my, when I was, you know, when they, when they announced the badges, like I wasn't up, I fell asleep and I look at my phone and I got all these notifications and it was, oh, yeah. it was a good, <laughs> I mean, this is a really good feeling. I mean, three and a half years in the game, like, and you know, it was like that, that was, I felt like that was like the pinnacle. I feel like I felt, you know, I kind it of is. Like of land. And so just, what's next, Jeeves? What's next? Well, I, mean, I will add what you say, though, with leather, with when you go for top 10 or any kind of ACR, you told me and you said you texted me, you said, zig while everyone zags. Mm -hmm. Right. Oh, yeah. That's what I've been preaching for years. I mean, yeah. and that's kind of what happened. You know, no one was, it was, I've never seen a tour so dead when it came to ACR. It was a fun tour, a lot of fun tracks, but nobody was moving. You, like, okay. you, you picked the right tour. And yeah, I mean, I just right day you know, just to start going for yeah. because nobody was going for top ten. No, that's why. I, that's why no, I have a lot of. No one's just, gonna do it. I will. It's a, a badge. The bad. The badge is a badge. I mean, I don't care what's yeah. on it, whatever. And yeah, the thing. The thing is, and I, I've been thinking about this a lot, just in just in life too, about zig versus zagging. You know, I, I, there's anytime everyone's zigging, they're all zigging for a reason. There's there's good always good principle with why everyone's zigging but there's always a good there's always right. an opportunity on the zag so you right. know everyone's a lot a lot of people are saving during a city tour because they don't want to be all heavily invested in all these and like the 2023 glider the 2023 glider may not be great for you the rest of the year <laughs> but it doesn't matter because you're you finished freaking yeah, you number, 20, the number eight yeah. dude yeah yeah so again you know it's it's a, it's a it's one of those things where you, you know you I know uh, Ants love what, you know, he's, he's got a Tiger Bruiser level eight, like triple uncapped because he went for top 10 and like, but that's what it takes. You have the badge, who cares, right? Think, so you could, you know, you and when, your you know when you ask like, yeah. what's next for me is like, you know, I, you know, I think I really just found this new, you know, passion now. Like it, I like, I'm looking forward now to seeing not just, you know, you always have like those five or six people that always get it, like Zephiel and Amy and, you sure. know, that are, and, uh, some of the Japanese guys, uh, auto drift too. Yep. Auto, yeah, auto drift, and uh, I am excited now to see like who's gonna just get there first and just and you know just find a way to sneak in there. I'm, I don't want to name names, but, but like I have a whole list of people that I'd love to see. Um, so that's kind of why like I've I've kind of gotten that's kind of my my aspect now because like that's the exciting part because like. You know, Rashid, when you got your first, uh, I was thrilled for it. I noticed your second when you I was thrilled for it. when Racker got his first. That was amazing. I mean, just he just you just you know was picking. So like, that's where I get my that's where where I, my passion is changing now. Not for me, it's just seeing like some other like really really good racers, grinders that yeah. that will just slip in there. If you want to get top ten, you should get real buddy buddy with Rashid because Rashid yeah. and uh, and Auto Drift are are like the top ten whispers. They know what they, what, they know what people are doing. I saw a DM from like Rashid is like, oh crap. <laughs> oh, <sorry. laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. Sorry, I shouldn't have said that. My bad, guys. All right, guys. Well, uh, we'll get into a lot more of the tour. We got some questions uh, from our from our members about the Explorer tour about this new doctor tour, Doctor 2.0. We even have some me questions and everything. But before we do, got like a little bonus surprise for you guys. Uh, it's it's something that's been probably, I think, three months in the making. So I'm pretty excited about this. Um, we, will, we will be retiring 
this stud fit collage now uh if uh, just to, to date myself uh i think it was uh december 2021 reached out to remedius and i said hey here's my idea uh i have this this old school coin box logo uh that just, i kind of threw some slices in there and and uh and puffy was so blessed to, to help me out with the logo i had just a weird concept and she she crushed it and i said this is what i'm trying to do i'm trying to get this collage and um and i said you know he's like well give me some of your favorite things and so i gave him you know i got a lot waluigi over here and i got uh, santa bowser because of the bet with frenzy fans um i got the dry bowser um i actually had i think the original dry bowser because i got him i pulled him so many times in a number of different pipes i think i got more dupes than him i probably could have taken him to level 10 if it existed um you know i was a big fan of uh, king bob i'm gold i took him i maxed him out everyone uh, this is before like it was a normal thing to do um that's a big deal uh, i will say um i have to shout out to sammy d because i i i i sent him my idea the sketches and he's like you really want all that uh other stuff like a super nintendo controller and like a, a game boy and i was like well <laughs> Yeah, you're probably right, but I kind of just want it. So I just, I had him do it anyway. So, uh, but he did a phenomenal job. And obviously the black rate sale, um, a phenomenal glider of this year. So I came to him with his idea. He crushed it. I, you can't see it at the bottom. I guess you can see it on the shirt, but there's a pipe. An old pipe. Rest in peace to the pipes. No pipes anymore. So um, we're retiring this and we're going to be introducing a brand new logo of 2023, a new collage of 2023. I'm excited about it. But before we do, Anything you guys want to say about this logo? Anything you're going to miss about uh, about this logo? Yeah, Jeeves will buy it. Yeah, I'll buy it. I have you'll the sweatshirt. I, I can't wait to get the, yeah, I'll, I'll, I, I love my sweatshirt, so I'll, I'll, I look forward to the next one. And before you ask, my favorite part of it's the Game Boy. Yeah, the, the Game, Game Boy. Cool. Yeah. yeah, that's awesome. There's something about that. All right, so you need to sign it, though, and we can see how bad your signature is. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I don't. I haven't actually developed a stud fit logo. All right. Anything else you guys want to say about it before we retire it? Trash it. Yeah. Good riddance. <laughs> All right. So. For, so. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, bonus points. Can anyone name my favorite color? Pink. What? Pink. pink. It's it's favorite salmon. color. It's pink. Uh oh. What, what's oh, happening? Stripping it's down. Boy. Okay. Can I take off my shirt too. What's oh. happening here? Can you see it? <laughs> yes, we can. Pink. Oh, you look the purple, don't you? Nice neck. All right, guys, you ready? Here we go. <laughs> oh, you're flipping it. Wow. Whoa. 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 Wow. There's like girls it. on it. Yeah. I had those girls. Wonderful <laughs> wings. Oh, you put a hop rod in it. Got the block. You got the Night Luigi. You got Gold Petey, the vampire. Got wow. everything here, so I'll, I'll share my screen. Truck at the top, I like it. Huge shout out to Remedius. This is his brand wow. new logo for 2023. Wow! So good. So he did a phenomenal job, That's and you awesome. know what? The, the first logo were a lot of things that were uh, unique to my channel, but I wanted something that everyone could like. So you know, obviously, everyone loves some Ty Daisy. People, uh, people voted on the best alt being Mario Samurai. Uh, I will say the carts were I, I handpicked. There, but uh, we had the number one glider of the year, which I know the Frenzy fans absolutely love. The wonderful wings there. Um, but yeah, what do you guys think on a scale from one to ten? What do you think? That's killer, ten. man. Yeah, that's awesome. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a big tattoo of that in my back, <laughs> <laughs> lower back. What? Do you, for some reason, it wouldn't surprise me. <laughs> <laughs> I love All right, it. There we go, guys. So that's, that's uh, cool. I, I like that you. I was worried you were gonna change something totally different. I was like, it's cool you got Remedius to do like a sequel, basically. Yeah. yeah. Um, you could. Do, that's really neat. So neat. I and like the black. The, I like the black back. The backdrop. The black over the white. It, yeah. There, there is a little bit of a shine, but that's okay. Uh, it's all good. But uh, I all right, like guys, we'll so, because... somehow we're gonna get uh in through the rest of the podcast. We got through the uh, the icebreaker. We'll jump right into the exploratory, right? So we'll start with uh, Crazy's question. Why would Nintendo Nintendo put Explorer Peach on the ACR badge as a repeat when they already have two perfectly good Shy Guy alts? So what do you guys think about uh, the badges? This has been kind of a common thing the last couple of tours. What do you think on having a different, uh, different alt? My only thought process on why they're doing this lately, and it's the only thing I can come up with, is... They're, they're, drive, they're trying to drive for new players to enter this game. And those people who are trying to get into ACR, 
never got those badges back in the day when they were first brought out. So the only thing I can think of is that they're just trying to get the newer players involved and try to get the people who care about the badges. They're trying to get them a second shot at it or a first shot, I should say. Other than that, I have no idea why they would bring back repeat badges over and over. And over. I don't think it's a good idea either. I mean, that's the one thing I can think of because I think once. Well, they, I, I think they're trying to bad, cater like, to the, the newer badges. Players, that's why. You, like they should be completely unique. Yeah, and that's if, terrible. If you man. miss out, you miss out. Like yeah, but but you but the thing you got to understand is that Nintendo wants to cater to the new players. That's how. But they're but, but, the but wouldn't the, wouldn't the new why why wouldn't the new players want explore Shy Guy badge just as much as an explore Peach badge? I mean, uh, they're not going to know the difference. I mean, I, I guess they might look back and be like, "Oh yeah, I get a second <laughs> chance to that hey, badge." Listen, I, if their friends who have been playing are telling them, "Hey, you missed the Peach Explorer badge back in May," like, oh man, I wanted that's that. Happen- one. Yeah, that's happening everywhere. I'm sure. Yeah, as someone who doesn't have many Ace Air badges, nobody's ever been like, "Oh, you missed out on this." And I would much rather have like one of the new ones to kind of like feel like I'm one of the cool kids than like an old expired one that no one cares about. Yeah, like Toad Astronaut, like. How many people have been wanting that guy to come yeah. to the game for so long? And then he did. And then, and then not only that, but Nintendo gives everyone a notification, a notification shade saying, go ahead and get Mario Astronaut, which yeah, yeah. isn't I... even his name. Yeah. <laughs> what, the, what are they doing? They don't even know what's going on. They don't. And I'm so sorry, but I, I, I'm going to push back hard. I, Z is right. That is the only explanation. But I still, I'm going to call BS on that because. I'll wait, call hold BS on, on it too. <laughs> hold on. <laughs> that was my I, had a, <laughs> I had a really good point. Oh, here's my point. Because there, there is nothing that commemorates that you played a tour. The only thing that commemorates you played a tour is the expert, as the uh, the blue stage challenge badges. With now they're repeating those two, and. W- what what would be wrong with having a, a badge is the most small insignificant thing even you who made top 10 you said i don't really care about the badge it's the principle of, of doing the accomplishment so it's such a small thing which is why it's such an egregious lazy thing uh, why not just let the people who played the tour keep that and you never get another shot at it i've never cared who was on the badge not ever not well, i don't ever. i don't either not but one that's <laughs> never so, cared. I don't either. But there, but there are some players that actually really do care about it. Yes, like, yes. yeah. so you, you with the Bowser, badge, right? Pretty much anything Bowser badge. Like, yeah, I'm gonna go all in. Like, yeah, that's you'll my spend character. ticket. You'll I spend really resources for it. Right, it's the Genshi for me. Yeah, exactly. And so, but this begs the question: Is like, okay, so when are they going to give a badge of Wintertime Larry? Exactly. Toad astronaut or Toadette astronaut or uh, shy guy explorer. Like when when is that going to come? Is that going to come like one, two, three years down the road yeah. when we've all forgotten about it? Or we, they're repeating the doctor. You know they're going to repeat Doctor Mario Badge next mm-hmm. tour, and that means that there have to be four more Doctor tours for four <laughs> years in a row for them to. That's if they don't repeat them again. Here's the thing: like, <laughs> do you just get? Is it just overlap? So if you were ready, no, it's a duplicate. It's a double. Okay. I so any- here's here's my theory. Do you remember this? I think middle of last year, maybe maybe even earlier. There was a point where the data miners were finding out the badge on like Tuesday night before the tour right. was released. Yeah. And so there was some like uh, I don't know some some thunder some thunder stolen some lightning stolen. Uh-huh. Um, thunder stolen. So there's some thunder stolen by seeing the badge of the tour. And, you know, of course we don't see it anymore. And I don't know if the data miners are even looking for it, to be honest with you, but I, I honestly, I bet you, cause I think that was mostly what Hydra was finding I, and Hydra has obviously since retired. I don't think anyone's data mining, but it could be there. And maybe their thought process is, Hey, if these guys find it again, or they're just not looking for it again, but they maybe start again, um, looking it up again, they could see, what the new character is now he, they've since done tour reveals and, and we kind of know in general what the new driver is anyway but there was a while there where we didn't know what the new driver was and that badge was quite a spoiler yeah. do you think that had anything to do with it uh, they just they just don't put it on the acr side just yeah. <laughs> all right it's all like positive press right like we would get so stoked about it as content creators we'd start talking about it and we'd do videos about it and it just got the audience hyped so I don't know why they would come in and be like, oh, no, we don't want people to be excited to play. <laughs> that just seems like bad business practice. 
We're already oh, they, yeah. they, they got rid of Gotcha. They fired in turn four, and they have no idea who's he actually running anything at this point. So uh, uh, honestly, man, uh, there's so many weird things going on more and more. <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, I, I, I expand. Really, uh, no. no, this is to cater for, for new players or those that don't have the badge yet. And, uh, you know, maybe it's controversial to say, but speech is more, you know, uh, famous. <laughs> More likable, maybe, uh, for the majority of uh, uh, the base players than uh, shy guy. And uh, you know, uh, you know, as a new player, you don't see pitch at all. You just see pitch at all. So yeah, that probably uh, would be probably the reason why uh, they uh, they don't mind repeating badges. And uh, anyway, if someone got a top one thousand badge in the past, maybe he's willing to try to get uh, another badge. With Top 100, and it would be a different color, so it would be so wouldn't be cheap anyway. So yeah. that that got me the very first time because for the space tour last year or the first time that it came around, I got the top 1,000, and then when I saw that it was going to be a repeat badge, I was like, well, I don't want the same badge, and I like space stuff, so maybe I will go for top 100, and I did. I made it like just barely. I was like 96. So thank you, Rashid, for all your, <laughs> your like your yeah. last three days. That was actually kind of stressful, but thanks to you. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I ended up getting the top 100 badge with now Satellaview. But then like the next three tours, it was the same thing where I have a top 1000 badge. But then I didn't have that same like fire or urge to like try and get the counter part, the, the 100. Because it was just like characters I didn't really resonate with. So I don't know. Like I was kind of thinking the same thing you said, Rashid. Maybe people that have been playing for a long time, they can, you know, try and boost up a, a, a level in their badges. Um, and that might work for some, but I don't think it's like their main reason for doing it. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. No, certainly, uh, certainly good points. Uh, there, as Sammy mentioned, there's kind of just a lot of weird things going on. Some, uh, one of the questions um, we kind of had a specifically about. Uh, I kind of had it for the do the doctor tour, but kind of also pertain pertains to this tour uh, as well. You know, although we have another shy guy alt, um, which again, you know, a lot of people are crying uh, with their pitchforks about uh, character diversity, and we have all these shy guy alts. But uh, and then another doctor tour um, is it, even though we have a new track, like is this have they gotten to the point where they're just recirculating everything and like it's uh like are they get just getting lazy or is are they actually like just focused on other things where's the mario kart 8 deluxe taking their attention or what what is the reasoning behind what seems to be a lackadaisical approach i i, I think part of like i'm the conspiracy person to me is thinking i think they're doing this on purpose just so we can talk about it you know and bring it up because a lot of the stuff just seems so obvious you know going back to the badges like we it's been talked about before and they're just doing it again i think that you know i can't think of any other explanation on why really they would do like stuff like this this doctor tour with another shy guy all i mean I, I i don't know but like i think sometimes i think they're just gonna do stuff that'll go against the grain just so we can talk about it you know what i mean just keep us on our toes yeah okay. and keep saying why nintendo <laughs> You know, I, this is, there's another question submitted. This, this kind of is along those lines, but it's kind of like, what's a truth bomb that you want to say about that no one wants to hear? And it, this game has always been this way. It, it's not like some new thing. I, they, I remember the first time Paris came back in the fe February, the first February of the game's release. So we had a Paris tour, a second tour, and then Paris came back for valentine's day i think it was called the paris tour was it called the paris tour or the valentine's tour um it was called the valentine's tour okay so maybe i'm i'm not making a good point but like they have there's, there's there's something about this game where there's always more they could have done there's always there's always something missed um and i just don't think it's that new now repeating a doctor tour again with coconut mall no new doctors and then shroom ridge being in there it's so random like it's the most random thing i've ever seen but <laughs> i mean they they could have at least it's called it mushroom tour i i don't 
I don't even know, but just to me on principle, I wish they would just come up with at least new names or like they had a dartboard and just threw a dart. And, oh. Dude, that frenzy fanboys thing about the nephew, that's my new favorite thing yeah. in the world. Like it's forget intern four, it's the CEO of DNA's nephew. <laughs> He's running the show, man. And see, here's the thing: it's his artwork on the refrigerator uh, there at the Nintendo headquarters. He wanted, I wouldn't explore Peach Badge. Uh, so like the nephew, he's he's like so like uh, when he, he his 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 temper tantrums are so horrendous. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Like everyone just bends over but, backwards. But please, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> please don't fire me. I want a doctor to a doctor. Yes, yes. It's the CEO's nephew that just everyone is afraid to like make him mad, and so they just do the. Easiest things from this kid that's just like I'm gonna play with everyone, and then he like watches all of our him. channels and is like, everybody's complaining. I'm gonna make the box harder on you all. Yeah, <laughs> yeah like we need like a name for like uh, l- l- little nephew Stevie or something like that. Like <laughs> he's got to have a name. We- we'll-, we'll work on that. But uh, yeah, Melody asked that question. She said, uh, she, "What are some of the most controversial opinions you have about the game?" And the community may not want to hear. Um, now. We don't we don't like a necessarily want to ask next necessarily ne- negative questions, but yeah. I think it's a fair question. Do you think that's your most controversial hottest take there, uh, Sammy D? Uh, I mean, I've got a few others. I'm sure safe, this is safe space. Here's the thing: is like you have your channel, and like you you know you have yeah. to say certain things. You have to kind of abide by their rules. This is the stuff for channel. There are no rules. Yeah, I think there's always there's there's always been misses, even when. <sighs> I just remember feeling this really early on. I, I have voice memos of practicing doing the idea of cart life. And I was doing it on my on my phone before I launched the channel. And I recently listened to my original Paris tour review. The very the third tour. Oh, have it? Can you play it? I have um yeah, it's somewhere in here. Um <laughs> but it I listened back and like I thought that tour was incredibly disappointing at the time. That's the third tour in <laughs> because of and I just think there's always missed opportunities. And you know, you know how I feel about original characters. I always think there could have been more. Um, yeah. I mean, like put Paratroopa in this tour with Shroom Ridge. It's not that hard. Like Paratroopa, you you literally use the Koopa Troopa render and you add a red shell and wings, and you call it the Paratroopa tour. And you have Shroom Ridge, and it with a couple of small changes like that, yeah. a whole we, other we impression, wild. a yes. whole other impression is made on the tour. Um, <laughs> Instead, we're on here talking about is the game dying and so you know, and we shouldn't be because it's not dying, but they make it look like it is. Um, it just there's always these missed opportunities, man. Um, and I try to be positive and, and like look for all the good, and there's lots of good there. It's obviously been so much this last year, especially with the tracks. Yeah, I mean, I'll, um, I'll, I'll go, you know, sorry, I don't mean to interrupt. No, yeah, go for it. No, I, I think there's always going to be missed opportunities. I really think with the, the the fan base of this game um you know i i am not as detail oriented with stuff you know and i get that but i understand that there's there's really people that get that like you know you have all these great ideas that should have been done and i totally agree with you you know after the way you explain it um but i almost i almost want to compare it to like when you have like a grammy awards or an oscar awards and they have like the in memoriam and they always forget someone and everyone's just like why yeah you know and it's just like one of those things like there's always like these little things that they miss and maybe it's just you know it was an oversight or something mm-hmm. you know should you know i don't know if that stuff should have been an oversight because i'm not as detail oriented it sounds like with you know with this paris tour that that was you know that was that you know was disappointing it seems like it was a huge oversight um even with this doctor tour coming up yeah i mean you've explained it beautifully like yeah why didn't they think of it it's obvious so you know but like a lot of these things it's like okay well maybe they just it slipped through the cracks you know what i mean yeah. let me let me ask you this i know we talked to, and then we'll get to you fancy fans um but i i will say this this shy guy is is he is he just white shy guy or is he doctor shy guy because if he's doctor shy guy he'd have the big giant silver thing on his head remember Virgin's shy guy. Maybe he's got like, it's like his, his guy. Guy. Maybe he has a stethoscope <laughs> that they we don't see or something. I don't know. 
I don't, I don't think so. I think it's just a, just white. Shy, you know, the shy guy. Yeah. Cause the shy guys are getting all the colors, just Birdo, shy guy, Yoshi. They're all going to be ranked reward color variants and they're going to be supers. It's not, gotcha. okay. it's just nothing more than that. I don't think. You, well, you, cause you, uh, you, I figured I'd play off of the uh, controversial opinions of the, the fact that I, I'm not a big fan of the tour reaction reveal reaction. Um, Sam, you, you and I had a conversation about it, you know, and, and I had to, cor- I, I feel like I need a public correction here. I haven't been a big fan of the tour reaction to the reveal because it's like we're we're all kind of watching the video and just someone some some character being a content creator reacting to it. But I have to give uh, a special um, asterisk to that because Sammy D did a phenomenal job yeah, last awesome. tour, um, just kind of highlighting uh, what we have seen, what we haven't seen, what retros, what uh, what things we what he would like to see. I just have to say, I. I I'm not inserting foot in mouth, but I'm saying that uh, there is a huge caveat, and Sammy does uh, go above and beyond with his uh, his tour re- reveal reactions, and, and does does a phenomenal job. So I just want to make sure I, the, the public knows that I do, I do have a soft spot for you, Sammy. D. You didn't have to say that, but thanks. But I mean, even like even anyone doing a reaction, I mean, I get it. You don't want to see the same people go, oh, whoa, oh, over and over again to everything, but that does that is what the hype for the game is all about it's it's like fans of the game i mean that that encapsulates the excitement oh what's what's coming oh there it is um i like seeing people react to stuff even if there's no like insight to it but yeah i mean i think i like to try to try to bring as much as i can to <laughs> Brandy fans here's yeah here you go we're probably like the most insightless uh <laughs> channel so like oh no when- no when we had our uh, tour reaction of this tour, I think I was the one I was like, so is this Piranha Plant Cove? Is it on like some other game or is this like brand <laughs> new? To... And everyone in the comments was like, oh, Prince of Fanboy, come on. It's a Nitro yeah. track. <laughs> I was like, I, For my phone. I don't know. I, don't know. I try to get everything right and I always still miss something. You know, the viewers are always sharper than any of us. So. They're always right, man. They're always right. Customers Here's my controversial right. opinion. Yep. I agree with everything that everyone said. Like I have all the same sentiments as Sam D and all the feelings, all the emotions, right? But at the same time, I kind of think as a player base, we're just spoiled. <laughs> like we're kind of yeah. spoiled little brats in the nicest way ever. Because here's the thing, is what other game releases as much like brand new content to a game every two weeks as Mario Kart Tour does? Like we're sitting here, they're bringing mushroom ridge to the great game they have new drivers they have new cards and all that and we're like oh the badge you know what i mean like how thoughtless of them you know like i feel like it's just kind of the nature of humans in general but i just feel like we find the bad and we talk about it instead of like talking about how cool it is like this blue crawly cart how freaking awesome is that I yeah, love it. Awesome. Well, we've, we've, we've got, that's why it's awesome. We've especially got spoiled with new tracks because, like, and, and this is why I, 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 my biggest my thing about tonight was like, if stuff is ta- starts asking if this is a filler tour, I'm going to lose my <laughs> because no, I'm no, if there's a new track, it's not a filler tour. It, that it, we've gotten so used to it now, but like, if you go back to 2020 or whatever, and we had Shroom Ridge come out of nowhere. We'd be talking about it for like a whole hour, you know. Oh, we would lose our minds. So yeah. But that's yeah. why it's like, why don't you put that on the front image of the tour? Why is it coconut mall? I, and why yeah, is it yeah, I agree. It's just weird. It's random. What I think well, like is said, weird I about it is that everybody they, like the excitement's cool. Yeah. Sorry, friends fan girl. Go ahead. Sorry, I interrupted you. Oh no, sorry. I was gonna say I agree with everybody. Like I love the new stuff and I hate when they drop the ball, but I also feel like as a player base, we have really high standards. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, I think I think what's interesting is that uh, with like Mushroom Bridge coming in, like they could they could have made that the focal point, of, and I think they should. I think a lot of players really like these new tracks coming in. I mean, I, I think it's probably the other than like a brand new top skill driver, like it's the, the best thing that they could introduce uh, to us that changes you know the game. And so I think that they should play it up and and like whatever that new track is. Like make it about that track, the tour versus like yeah. oh, but it's like oh, but it's like oh, but it's like oh, okay, all right. Uh, all right. Uh, well, then the next tour they don't do anything. We're just like, okay, this is <laughs> the remix. <laughs> the stuff that you're frozen. Oh, frozen stuff. I Your am. video's fro- uh, we're gonna, we're gonna frozen. We're gonna end this. No, that's we good. I, we can pick it up. We can pick Guys, it up. Is, I'm so sorry. Can no, you hear we me? Can pick it up. Yeah. Well, hear I remember. Your mouth is wide open. <laughs> <laughs> very, <laughs> very strange. I'm looking at it right now. It's very odd. Should I sw- switch cameras and then switch it back? There I'll is switch- something. I mean, there there is potential there. Like, um, 
I, I remember one of the data miners said a teaser about like, hey, I think the next tour, there's a chance it could be a vehicle centric tour. I'm like, what does that mean? A vehicle centric? And I, I don't, I think it's because they found out that the Shroom Ridge track ID gap might apply here. There's moving cars on this track. We're getting a, a, a bitty para bitty bud me racing suit, uh, which kind of looks like the car. So they could have done, I mean, I don't know. You're not going to call it like car tour or driving tour, but good goodness, at least not doctor tour. Why? So weird. <laughs> anyway, but it get, I don't know if stuff fits like gone or going to edit. I'm still here. Song. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah. Your video is gone though. Sorry about that. No, it's fine. Yeah. I was just going to say stuff that I can also say it gives us an opportunity to do another cart life, healthy life challenge. So I'm going to kick that off. Um, I, I was just like, oh yeah, that's an awesome thing about Dr. Tour. We're going to get back on the, um, uh, on the exercise train. I'm going to do a little challenge for all my viewers again. So that'll be fun. Yeah, Maybe actually, uh, I think we have a question about that. Uh, so yeah. OG beer says, uh, so we have a new Dr. Tour coming up next. It reminds me of the last year when Sammy and Studfit promoted a healthy life challenge during the first Dr. Tour in that spirit, do you have any thoughts for a healthy life challenge? In 2023, how do you balance life between spent on Mario Kart tour with outside life? Do you ever feel burnt out or feel like you like to set limits on time spent in the game? So I think in general, a couple of great questions he tosses out there. But I think when it comes to to health and doctor, I mean, I, I'm for those of you who noticed, uh, my uh, badge in the game is uh, like the the doctor pills and in, in like the the nice fancy bluish purple pink color. Um, and I, I think that's just a, rem a reminder to myself. First of all, I'm in healthcare, but um, <clears throat> also a reminder for me just to like to prioritize being healthy and having a healthy balance. And that's why I do it. I, I haven't really been vocal about it. And that's that's fine because it's not about what you guys n see it or know about it. But it's, it, it's, it's for me a reminder that I need to it's kind of like replacement of the the, the PX PX uh, 90 or P90X. Uh, mm -hmm. that I had the GP 90 X um, uh, thing where I wanted to balance my spending, balance my time spent for me, it was just a, re a replacement of that of having a healthy balance. So what kind of healthy do you, I mean, you say me, do you want a challenge? Do you, I mean, cause I'm open. I'm, I'm listening. Oh, I mean, I was just going to do what I did last year and just announced for my viewers in a, a video, probably the next couple of days, um, throwing down a, the car life, healthy life challenge for this year's doctor tour. And you know, just get, try to, um, basically ask viewers to come up with i was going to say since it's the second doctor tour come up with two things you're going to do every day for these 14 days um so it's pretty easy to do they can be small things little things um so yeah i'm gonna i'll put that out there in a video form and you guys can respond and run with it and i loved your response last year stuff it so if anyone wants to join go for it it's only 14 days but maybe you'll pick up some little habits usually if you have a yeah. structure for a couple of weeks of some new habit then some part of it can stay with you usually, you know? Um, so, yeah, I mean, I, that's, that would be my response to like anyone's thing. Like, are we losing interest in the tour in the game or, you know, are they not keeping us interested? No, just put down the game and go for a walk, you know, like go there's put on your headphones and listen to Mario Kart tour YouTuber streams, because there's always like two hour long videos you can listen to like this or others, and you can go on a walk while you do it. Yeah, you know what? I still I still run four miles. Uh, I was kind of running sporadically three miles, and I uh, for the healthy life challenge, I decided to not eat any sugar for those fourteen days, like any type of like dessert, um, you know. And I I had actually lost about uh, I think twelve pounds or so over the two weeks, which was, um, I, you know, getting ready for the summer. It was perfect timing. And I think right yeah. now we're I mean, if you want to start if you want to look good in a bathing suit in June, like now is literally the time to do it. For those who are extremely vain like myself, name stud fit. Uh, for a reason, uh, that's, that's one of the things you prioritize, but, um, no, I mean, honestly, I still run like I, uh, this past week, I ran, I think four out of the last five days, um, four miles. And uh, I still, it's one of those things where I, I only started running four miles because it was an increase from three. It was, which I was doing thanks to Sammy D's life challenge. So, um, no, I, I think it's really important and it could be just, uh, I'm, by the way, I've done some, uh, fitness competitions. I've, um, uh, actually that's where the name stud fit came from. It was my Instagram handle back in the day when I was doing a lot of uh, fitness posts and stuff. But anyway, my, my main point is that like, there are things you can do um, either calories in or calories out. 
meaning that uh, there are things that you can do to be able to just live healthier. So, you know, drinking, you know, a certain amount of water. So there are, uh, there's a lot of uh, studies out there that if you're drinking, you know, anywhere between, you know, two liters to even a gallon of water a day, you can actually, um, it's, I mean, we're made out of 75% water. So it actually is, is uh, refreshing your body. Your body needs the water anyway. And a lot of times we're drinking soda and coffee that dehydrates us anyway. So there's good parts with water There's and, and staying hydrated. There's good parts about e eating healthy. So watching what you eat and maybe stopping something that maybe you feel uh, you could do without that you just kind of have habitually done it. Um, one of the things that I've done just already, just one of like a new year's resolution I did is I'm not drinking alcohol between uh, Monday and Friday. So just note what I call boredom beers, uh, just things that like, I'm just bored. So I just, you know, take drink in it. I like IPA. So uh, it's like 200, 300 calories a, a drink. So, you know, I could be consuming 300, 600 calories just from these boredom beers. So uh, since since I started that and I got back from a little vacation, you guys remember that, but um, I lost uh, about nine pounds in the last uh, four, 12 days. So um, things like that, just from having like these little habits, like what, what could I, what could I, what could I do for 14 days that would in, uh, help my, uh, uh, my live a healthier life? So again, calories in, kind of talked about that water. Uh, also food or exercise, you know, uh, just think about like how you could walk around. We're starting to get some warm weather. Sorry, frenzy fans. Uh, but we're starting to get uh, some warm weather. It's like been 60 degrees here in Virginia this past week. And so I've been doing, uh, taking my boys for a walk. We've been doing all, taking them in a wagon. We've been doing a lot of stuff outdoors. So might be walking around the block. Um, it might be, a, and honestly, my career has been really focused in on just making lifestyle changes with patients, uh, Medicare patients specifically. So um, I, I think it, it all starts with baby steps. It all takes with micro, micro goals that you set. And then once you achieve them, like I think the world's your oyster, you can do so much more. So uh, there's my little soapbox moment, but just try something small. It, when you reach that success, I guarantee uh, you'll, you'll want to set the bar a little bit further. And uh, who knows what the, again, we only have one life to live one, in my opinion, one life to live on this earth. So uh, make it count, you know, uh, if, if you feel like you, you, you have a hard time um, keeping up with your son or daughter or whatever, um, I don't know, maybe it's a time to, to kind of change some lifestyle uh, person. So I just, maybe? I wish we had, I wish we had some topics that stud fit was passionate about that we could talk about because <laughs> this is <laughs> no, that That's awesome. That's awesome, man. You yeah. just oh, go yeah. off, exactly go what off. I need to hear right before I go on vacation too. <laughs> yeah. Well, Sorry, after your vacation, hey, you got uh, you got like five days till the next tour, or so you have five days uh, to but, get a six pack. Well, here's like, but no, there's, thank. There's no. gonna be some kind of change when newer tour comes around. I'm gonna be, I'm not gonna be like opening it right away. I actually want to. My challenge is like, I want to go to sleep at a decent hour because I'm always there you go. checking. That's the, a good point too. Like yeah. the. the the ACR is posted like at 11 o'clock at night, my time. That's too late for me, especially when I'm working at seven in the morning, you know, um, and get in and, and getting kids ready. So, you know, maybe there, and also like there's also a mental aspect to it. So, like, you know, instead of a physical kind of thing, you know, I got to get my mental stuff definitely in line and I don't need to go further than that. You've all seen it. So, but yeah. Well, yeah, you, you have made a bet to be shirtless on this uh, on this show. So maybe maybe now is a good time to start working on it and you'll get there. By oh, there. I, have a, I have an update on that. I know we're jumping around a little bit about, <laughs> about that that bet. And you were oh, out talking about the nitro tracks. Yeah. Um, see, your bet was that we'd see three this year, right? This three this year. So if Piranha Plant Cove, Yoshi's Island, and then one more, that would satisfy Jeeves to go topless. Well, um, just to check in on that for anyone not aware, just like, you know, there's a lot of like data mining info about all this stuff. Long story short, the, what you, the too long didn't read summary is that it, if all the tracks that are being developed new for this game are going to the booster course pass for Mario Kart 8 on switch, which ends at the end of this calendar year, there are three after Yoshi's Island, there will be three more nitro tracks in the booster course pass released by the end of this year. Uh oh. That means that. Well, I, I'm going to have to cancel my membership. There could be there could be five five this year if uh, they want to come out not like months and months after the booster course pass, which I'm I don't think they're going to have to cancel my membership. We don't we yeah. don't do it. I, well, I don't <laughs> think it was contingent on any type of membership for one. And yeah, then, yeah. Two, I tossed out three or four. So if you want to make it four, Jeeves, uh, I can make it four. But this I, is like but, yeah. My main point was that this could be year of the nitro. 
We'll, we'll talk later. Oh, it will be. That's what I'm saying. This is less <laughs> about Jeeves being shirtless or not. I'm just saying <laughs> for the actual Mario Kart fans watching out there who want to hear us discuss Mario Kart. <laughs> Any more discussion of saying Jeeves shirtless? The, the viewers are going to yeah, drop. Yeah, I was going to say uh, a lot of. No, uh, yeah. yeah, we could have a lot of nitros this year. And it's, they're kind of like uh, just unloading everything so they can do all this content for both games. But anyway, um, yeah. The, on the, <laughs> but yeah, stay tuned for the Healthy Life uh, video announcement uh, and I'll and everyone can play along. But uh, I, I feel like we also interrupted the earlier topics of like controversial uh, statements like from Rashid and Z. I don't think we got yeah, to let's, hear. Let's more. go with Rashid. I'd love to hear from Rashid. What are, what are some of the most uh, controversial opinions you, Rashid, have about this game <laughs> Maybe the community isn't ready. To Rashid hear. unleashed. <laughs> uh, it's yeah. I don't know if it is really controversial, but uh, I believe that uh, the game can be too grindy. Oh, sorry, I just lost the audio. There you go. Too grindy. Yeah, yeah. So maybe you can deploy. Can we hear? Yeah, we can hear you. Yeah. Yeah. So too grindy. You know, if you go for ACR, if you just do the rank only, then yeah, it, it can take a very long time. And uh, the controversial part about this is that Nintendo knows about it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, they're trying to do, you know, to find a balance between uh, the part where it's too easy or too tough, and some, somewhere in between. Basically. So yeah, that's the, the thing that I find a little bit controversial. Rashid, so, do you think that- because that's not really the goal. The goal is really, you know, the corporation is to make money. So yeah, yeah that's, that's how I feel about it. I want to know if Rashid, do you think personally the bots yeah. are getting harder? A, are they harder the last couple of weeks since the, the fix? Or are they harder like over time? What are your thoughts? Uh, I'm, so yes, maybe the past two or three months they were easier because we had a trick to yeah right the but before that it was i think as difficult as it is right now yeah i think so too and you think the now, bots are getting easier no no we're just saying so it's another another aspect where you have to spend a lot of time to get to the xp of all the stuff so add that to you know your regular rank or if you are it's a very very grand wow I haven't even talked about the token shop <laughs> Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. No, we were just saying that since they fi they fixed the bot trick, you know, every some people have said I've noticed on on Discord like it seems like when since they fixed it, they actually made the bots even harder than they were before. And I just don't think that's true. I just think we got used to the the no bots. Yeah. I, I think they they were they're just as they're the same as they were before. We just kind of got we forgot about how how hard how bad it was, you know. Yeah. So Melody asked the question, you know, with the in, uh, instant badgeless bot trick removed. Uh, why do you think the Nintendo's made the badge bots hyper aggressive in a game mm -hmm. built around scoring? And again, you know that that part's debatable. Uh, which I think to Sammy's points, so he's saying maybe they're not aggressive. Maybe we just were, you know, so used to. Oh, they're aggressive. They're bad. They're. You think they're, they're hyper aggressive this time? Yes. Yeah, well, they, has they, a lot to say about it. I want to hear what Frenzy Grant has to say about this. They're Frenzy, really yes. Z man, let's go. This is his moment right here. This is your rage moment. <laughs> rage you know, my, my rage moments are by myself, trust me. I, <laughs> I, I was I was telling my wife, I'm like, I haven't cursed playing this game through that whole two tours that that bot bot glitch was was going on was gone than I have in the past two days. I swear to God, I had about 10 runs ruined today. And I threw my oh phone my across gosh. the room and almost broke it. I, I just, I don't understand it. Like it's, it's, they're, they're brutal. They're absolutely brutal. It's to the point where the joy in the game, I'm losing it. Mm -hmm. And the stress is coming back where I just, I, I don't, I don't want that part of the game coming back into my lifestyle, you know? So I, I don't know. It's going to come back to my advice later. So I don't want to get too deep into it. But uh, it's bad. It, it's really bad. And maybe I got too used to the multiplayer battle, which it could be. But they're, they're crushing me. And, and I'm, my joy, I'm losing my joy and my motivation. And maybe it sounds negative. I'm not trying to go that route. But uh, it's really hard right now. And I'm, I'm trying to keep myself positive. 
So it is. I mean, it's it's. I I, I don't. I never write write up complaints to support, and I actually wrote one up. You know, and I'm I'm sure a lot of people are too. Uh, I mean, selfishly, I'm glad. <laughs> Well, that didn't happen last tour when I was going, you know, when I set, when I got the, you know, when I went for top 10, I would never be able to do it. I wouldn't have the time. Yeah. Just do it. It's just, you know, I, you, know, know. you know what it is? It, this is a game. We're supposed to be having fun. We're supposed to yeah. enjoy it. You know, we have passion for this game. You know, we've been playing this game since 1992. You know, I, I love this game. I enjoy this game. I don't want to lose my passion for this game, but what they're doing they're causing me to, I don't want to say quit. I will never quit because I love the game too much. When I was telling the guys, Jeeves and a bunch of guys, I'll just, I'll just go strictly to ranked and I'll just, yeah, I'll just forget ACR because it, I don't need the stress. I don't, I don't need the aggravation. I don't need to like curse at my phone. It's just not needed. It's a game. I'm supposed to enjoy myself, have fun. And it's just not happening for me right now. And yeah, literally not fun. I don't know. It's not fun. It's just not. So speaking for the league, like the people who aren't as competitive in the game, because okay, we you guys are a bunch of rock stars. I'd say like as everyone on the show, I'm the least competitive. I procrastinate like none other with the game. I grind rank and like barely get in like my million points that I need to probably like 80% of the time, right? Unless I'm actually trying to achieve something. And so doing the whole badgeless bot trick, like I loved it for ranked and I loved it for like just when I was like trying to grind a lot but 95 percent of the time i was i wasn't using that feature i was just playing and i like at least for my account like hands down the bots are way harder for someone who wasn't using that like i can significantly tell a difference you can ask friends of fanboy there's a lot of throwing of my phone and inappropriate words coming out of my mouth so i'm right there with you friends and grind i mean i will well, say like i don't i kind of disagree in a way like because it it's a competitive from a because it's not really from a competitive point of view, but like I think for all us players, we like to learn the tracks, we like to see where we can get our mini turbos in, where we can get that extra action or whatever. And with these bots being so aggressive, we can't, it's so hard to find that out because we can't get that run. It is really that, and that's that's where the joy is being taken out. It's really not because we want to get first and we want to get all the points. We really want to learn these tracks and where to get all, you know, those, the, the AC, at least I think. So we can, I mean, we can still grind down the bots. It yeah, just it's say, like, it takes time. Uh, Some, it takes time. You can't. It takes forever. I don't have the time. Sometimes you can't. I mean, this last ranked on Sunset Wilds, like, oh, I, yeah. I never, I spent on, on three separate days, I spent an hour trying to grind the bots down. And I was driving drunk. I was like losing. I was winning. I was throwing everything. And I never got rid of all of them. They always went down to just one. Um, I do think that I got a comment on my video today that was like, um, and I always appreciate like the counterpoints. There's like, they're like, I don't have any problem with the bots being aggressive. Like it's supposed to be hard. And and I do kind of agree. Like they call it getting Mario carded. That's not a new term. Getting Mario carded has been around since 1992 because you you have a great run and a bot, even the bots back then, for that scale of where the AI was at at the time, it was very, very brutal. Um, now it's just it's gotten so much better that it's it's even more apparent and and uh, you know flagrant how 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 horrible they can be. Um, but I don't really think you should just have free reign of the track. You know, there, there's a very fine balance to be had. That's why I, I wrote them. I just said, could you just take it down like ten yeah, percent? I'm not saying get like, rid of them. Just but dial it down one yeah, tick, absolutely. like <laughs> you know. Yeah, I'm with you. I'm with you. Like it should, it should be a race. It should be a race. But I, I, I there's, there's sometimes where you're like holding a banana and you're gliding over a prana plant, and you're, just, then you get like red shelled and it knocks down your banana. And you're like, okay, I should be set. And then a green shell comes. You're just like, yeah. come on, man. Like you're really like. You get lightning. <laughs> yeah, it's just there's Anybody? sometimes where that kind of stuff happens, and it's like it. I you know that there is. Uh, it's just tad too tad. Like we get it. That's but none of this is actually going to happen for a real in a real race. But then then we run multiplayer, and I get cream. So yeah, maybe, maybe there's there's always comparison. But does anybody well, notice? What, does anybody notice that there's two types of blue shells? I don't know if anybody else I, has noticed this. In my opinion, 
What so are they? you get the casual Lucio who will come out, will swipe around, it'll spin out, take its time, and then crush you. And then when you got the double coin box coin single run and you're edging towards the finish line, it'll come super fast and it'll nail you. It won't spin. It'll just come oh. right down and get you before you oh. hit the finish line. It's faster. It's like it knows you're about to win. And then it comes down and kills you right away before what? it even spins and it spins up. Oh, wow. I, I've not observed Nobody's this noticed yet. that. I've gotten hit by that thing three times today. <laughs> I'm, I'm cruising the finish line with the a record ball. Sh- and this thing came and boom. It's evolving, it. the blue show. Wow. I'm telling you. I'm surprised nobody's ever seen that. I just don't like the Oh, yeah. They had the same. They had the same. They had the same. <laughs> Yeah, I think I mean <laughs> that's, that's the you know, win, let's get in there quicker. Yeah, I don't I don't no, think no, any data just, miners are gonna back this up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just the perception. You're about to win so excited, of course, like you think it's it's coming faster. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You just gotta dodge it, man. That's what you gotta let the other bot take it, you know. I I, I think Sam, I mean I think Sam is at a point like we, we don't mind the bots, but just turn it down a little bit. This is getting a little crazy. And yeah. This, uh, another aspect is like they they they're so freaking fast like why can't i drive that fast i have a i'll get like a yeah. mushroom frenzy and they're still going faster than i am yeah rubber banding is what they call it in gaming rubber banding, it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's pretty it, it can be real bad in Mark. or how the bots will like hover like left to right mm-hmm. in the track but like be going the same speed as you so they're they're oh, yeah. going yeah. twice or three times as fast because they're, <laughs> they're getting, you know so much more distant but they're <laughs> they're getting there the same amount of time as you are and it's like what but, so, but, but, shout out to god mode but they're going god mode on us <laughs> but again to Mel, to melia's question remember nintendo wants you to stay in the game as long as you can in the app and frenzy you say you're not having fun but are you going to play Mario Kart Tour tomorrow any less amount of day, minutes than you did today? I don't think you are. And the next day, you're going to do the same thing. You're going to do the same thing because you're going to go, oh, maybe next run I can get it. Now, if it was just easy, you'd be done with ranked. You take the last three days, you hardly play the game. So they want you to keep playing the game. So there's, I think that is basically why it is the way in, it is. It, so in, in fairness, you're correct. In fairness, I don't spend as much time on ACR as I would if I was actually going hard on it. because. I just don't have any desire to. I do my typical win ranks if I can get my top 100. If I'm if I fall in spot number 100, I'm good. I don't need 50. I don't need 20. Just the minimum to get in because I just don't. I, it's just too much. Well, for ACR, I I, I can see why you guys ha- have more frustration with it because, like, I'm going through and getting my top 1,000 and like I'll take like I had a great like triple coin box frenzy day and I got second and I was like. That's not good enough for top 100, but it's good enough for, for me. You know what I mean? So like if you're doing ACR top 100, top 10, yeah, it does take way more time to grind. You don't time to grind the bots out. Um, yeah. Frenzy fanboy was going to say something, I think. Um, yeah. So I was just going to say that like the game is very complex because we're actually competing against each other, right? In ranked and some of us in ACR. We're also competing against... RNG, the random number generation, trying to get, you know, like the the sequence of frenzies and the most frenzies possible. And so you you keep on playing over and over to try and, you know, get that aspect. And then now with the bots, it, it feels like it's just too much. And to, to Sammy D's point, I don't know, like I feel more disengaged when there are too many things to try and overcome. Like, yeah, to some yeah. people, it might it that that might bring the level of the game to like their capacity, and they might get more fulfillment out of it. But I think there's a whole lot more of a player base that would like to do well. But when, yeah, the odds of succeeding or having kind of that. Uh, that uh, dopamine rush of like, oh, cool, I got it, becomes less and less frequent, then as a human being, I'm going to go to other things in life, in this world, (laughs) to try and get that. And to be honest with you, like this year, the past several months, maybe since the Bowser tour, I don't know. What? (laughs) What? 
I'm I am I am less and less engaged with the game. I still love it, but like this tour, I don't even know if I'm gonna get my all clear pipe. <laughs> like I'm wow. looking at all of the courses that I still have left to do He'll and like clear pipe. what the I know, but like we're getting down to like not very many days and I still have two tracks left and ranked and like we've been out of town. Like I've been getting up at three o'clock in the morning for the past two days. Like wow. there is so much more to life now that life is normal than what it was early on in the game when it was COVID and it was literally nothing that we could do. Yeah. It'd be nice just if we if we knew it doesn't have to be like as easy as the battle glitch because that was pretty easy. But yeah. I wish there was just like if you grind five track times, they are gone. Like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. what is the rule? Because it doesn't make any sense. It's random. Every track is different. Sometimes, sometimes tracks the boss don't do anything. Yeah. And then some tracks, yeah. Here's a counterpoint to that though, with the 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 um trick or the exploit to be able to get the badgeless bots immediately. I actually found that I would spend more time on a track because it seemed like the frenzies, the RNG, wasn't nearly as favorable as when I would actually grind the bots down. Yeah, I saw you say that. I, again, I, I think data miners would have to be the ones to ask. I'm suspicious. It's kind of like Rashid said, like maybe you're just feeling that that happened, but I don't know. Maybe if they looked into it, the badge list. I, I so so when we had the exploit i actually stopped doing it because there were several series of tracks for ranked where i would i counted it i would go eight tracks like i would play it eight times without one frenzy with a level eight driver mm -hmm. hmm. we did if there after was eight times i don't get one frenzy i'm there, sorry there, but yeah no there, there are actually the there's this this hypothesis has been around for quite some time where they, the, some people have tossed out the idea that, you know, the, the more you play a track, the, the your frenzy chances go down. Um, maybe, maybe it doesn't have to do with how long you've been battling, but maybe as the bat budget, the badge bots go away or something like that. I can see that totally happening. Um, I, I, you know, I think it's mostly anecdotal, so it's hard, really hard to tell uh, unless we do have data miners uh, suggesting that I will say for top for just grinding, ACR it's it was it was phenomenal in fact some of my best battle track scores were done last door because I kept doing battle tracks just like expecting to quit and we get like you know a coin box frenzy I'm like okay this is my run I'm finally getting this uh battle and honestly all I think every single one of my battle tracks were you know within like you know seven or eight thousand of, of the max so like in the sixty thousand range and so I was like this is phenomenal so I actually I, I ended up because of the battle track bot uh glitch i actually became much more familiar and appreciated battle tracks more for what it's worth now i know sammy um you know you mentioned on your stream i i commented something about um i don't think that nintendo is really watching our little little streams because you know we put the battle the badgeless bots uh video out there um uh, for some people for people to see you'd mentioned yeah you know they're actually watching our channel i know for a fact that nintendo is watching some of our youtube channels would love to hear from you what what do you know? Because uh, it does seem like the I, you know, I, I might I might actually believe I might actually agree with you. I based can't on this thing. I can't say any more about it. I just I know for a fact I have it on authority. They watch content of the game. All I don't content, know. Some I don't know. I don't know. Clearly, they don't watch all. I mean, if you and Jeeves don't watch all content, and I don't watch all content, <laughs> then they then they can't. We're obsessed. But you know, checking in on stuff. Um, I, I don't, I'm not saying like you shouldn't have made a video about that. I wouldn't, I, I didn't even have time to think about whether or not that would be a good or bad thing. Um, I do think that's prop. I think that's probably how they found out. I don't think people sent feedback being like, Hey, there's this thing you guys need to delete it. You know, um, I think that's like 95% of the nephew's job is just to watch YouTube. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's, I mean, yeah, if, if I if I worked on the do work. look, if I were a creative working in gaming and I worked in this company, I would absolutely go watch these videos. Uh, um, but you know, I, I wish the badge bot, I wish the 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 bug. 
you know, back in the day, Nintendo used to have actual cheat codes. There were, does anybody, can anybody complete oh, yeah. this phrase? Up, up, up down. Up, down, down, <laughs> left, right, left, right, B, A, B, A, like start or start. Yeah. They yeah. built in ways for the best players to have little extra help. And you could enter, I, I don't know, that would be cool if, if there were a way to do that in this game with the budget badges. But at the end of the day, what they're willing to do, given that the bots, are, you know, it's it's great AI. They're it's growing. Like they're apparently based on how we play. That's all fine, and we need to be competitive. Just dial it down a little bit. And that's the one message I wish Nintendo could hear was like, people are not liking it. We don't. Li it's like they're not getting that core point is that people are not happy, and, and they they really should know that. Yeah, you know, talking about uh, grinding and being a little, little uh, grinded out, uh, Raker brings up a, a point that also something else has changed this tour. I, I, I've seen it myself. I uh, want to hear what your thoughts are. He talks about for EXP. So, uh, so when you're grinding a track, you can continue to grow uh, player level by uh, adding EXP to your account. Um, I said the, the last few tours... EXP came really easy, starting at 2.5% uh, per race. I Meaning, when you finish a race, your little meter goes up 2.5% uh, and ending somewhere around like 1.6 before it just stops and just kind of cuts off. But um, this tour started at like two and ends at like 0.7 or 0.8 per race. In fact, you need to finish a lot of races at 0.7 or 0.8 in order to clear it all. Do you agree with this? What are your thoughts? Um, I, I've personally seen it, but I want to hear, I want to personally want to hear what you so guys think. You're, you're saying they nerfed that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. how much are they trying to get away with here? Like, this is like the I, fifth I, thing. I, they I honestly nerfed. think it's, you know, it's part of you all, I want to think, think so with all this, with this going on, it, it, it's a money grab. They're trying to get people to, okay, if they can't grind bots down, they're going to spend. What do we buy our bots? Buy our bots? Buy our bots? Buy our bots? Pay a track for it to get. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, it's not buying bots, but it's just like they're gonna. Okay, well, if I can't, I'm, it's gonna take forever to get this score with these with these crazy bots. I'd rather just spend oh. the, the level of the stuff up. Mm. So, but exp like again, the player exp level is different because it's really not. I don't think it's a really. It's a, there's an economic factor into it or a financial. Yeah, what are they getting oh. out of that? What? Yeah. What? What do they even getting? get out of like? Uh, yeah, I I don't uh, know. That's that's the puzzling thing. But so I, we don't I, we don't get one hundred coins as fast. I mean, I just, right? Yeah, it's. I didn't know about this. Um, I haven't talked to any of the data miners about it. I didn't. It's the first I heard about it. I'm super disappointed to hear that because they nerfed the the high end ticket rates. Uh, they nerfed the gold pipe high ends like wow. five four four or five months ago. As soon like a month into the new pipe era or the new era. Um, they keep they keep nerfing stuff and making yeah. it all harder. Well, yeah. so if you if you want to go to that point, remember when we were all tier ninety nine and not moving? How do we know? How do we know the tier we started at when tier when when the next tier jumped? That yeah. that's our accurate tier. How do we know you they mean, didn't nerf it? As you mean pl uh, player level? Player level, yeah. 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 So, for instance, when they jumped to three hundred or four hundred, whatever it was, I was at two hundred two. How do I know that I shouldn't have been higher? How do I know I shouldn't have been lower? How do we know we didn't nerf it? Yeah. We didn't know because we weren't moving. Yeah. All you see is a little ding you know, on the top left corner. We that is know. true. We don't know necessarily what it was like before yeah, exactly. they, they added that up. But uh, yeah, no, it, it is very peculiar that there seems like they're kind of raising the bar or, you know, nerfing things uh across the board. Yeah, I, I don't know. Um, it, it's It seems kind of perplexing. I'm not trying to say that the... You know, they're trying to force the game out, but um, it does. That nephew, it does... man, that nephew. That nephew, man. <laughs> well, hey, so like, well, I've yes. seen too much EXP on this track. You should lower the EXP <laughs> I'm getting when I'm racing this track. <laughs> oh my god! So <laughs> what is Stevie? Here. So can... so oh, no, no, frenzy fans, go ahead, frenzy fan guy, go ahead. So this is kind of like my unpopular opinion thing that I even hate uh, for the episode. <laughs> But it kind of feels like Nintendo, as an entity, is purposely trying to uh, move its customers from 
one product to another. From here to switch, you mean? To, to switch. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I feel like uh -oh. when that's, Mario Kart Tour was just its own entity, that things were kind of just churning along, doing its thing. And then all of a sudden we had like these downloadable content packs from the Mario Kart Deluxe 8 that tried to integrate some of these tracks. And now we're seeing players Characters. that are coming, that are, that, are, that are now going from tour to Mario Kart um, 8 Deluxe. And I mean, is it too much to say that, you know, like stuff that you say all the time, like we're reading the tea leaves, like look at the past maybe six, four months of cart talk and how upbeat and positive these cart talks are versus how frustrated that we are as a player base. And is that, are they trying to move the popularity away from Mario Kart Tour? I mean, they've taken away gotcha stuff when I think they have other games. What is it? The uh, Fire Emblem or whatever that still has gotcha mechanics in it. Hmm. I don't know that it's this, oh, we can get into more countries and all, all, all that stuff. I, I think that there's like a, a, a more umbrella or overlaying desire of nintendo to get more people away from one product to another instead of being able to support both at that same level and it's a decision that they've made and they're going with it and they're doing all these little things to make it less fun get us less engaged but being able to play like uh uh like ninja hideaway over and over and over again not just when they bring it back once a year yeah you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, but there's the, behind it, and it, it's not so random. Well, and we're just we're not we're not connecting I, the dots properly. So, Sammy, let me just. I think yeah, it would be there. naive. It would be naive to think that that's not happening. Um, so I I have to I have to you have to acknowledge that. But you know, I I do think that they're. they're I don't think that they're dumb. You know that this is this was a money maker for them. This was a cash cow to some extent. You know. The, the eight, eight deluxe isn't making them that much. I mean, just sheer quantity. Yeah, I could see them bringing in some revenue, but there are people that were spending as much as you know, you know, absolutely hundreds of dollars every single month. And and you know, it's not millions of people, but it's it's a lot of people bringing a lot of money. I yeah, I don't know. Um, it's 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 a it's perplexing, but I think a hundred percent, regardless of whether you love Mario Kart or not, I think it would be naive to think that 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 is to some extent that's not happening. Uh, it, but maybe there's some, I, I think, I do believe that there's a different motive. I don't know what the motive is. I'm still figuring it out. And, and uh, but um, maybe Sammy has a better idea. Well, I mean, a lot of it is is about the lifespan of the Switch. And this is, this is a whole other conversation. I mean, no one knows what the lifespan of the Switch is. Everyone thought it was winding down towards one or two more years. But there's a lot of things, the decisions Nintendo's making that suggest that maybe they're going to try for another couple of years. The Switch is still selling like crazy numbers, this console. Mario Kart 8 is still selling crazy numbers. There's no incentive for them to release another console right now, even in the next year. But at the same time, they can't bring everything from Tour into 8. Yes, they're bringing Birdo in. Yes, there are two more waves. They're going to bring characters in. But I'm thinking they'll release like one or two in the next one, then like three more tops the next one. There's like 10 original characters in tour, just original characters. Then you have all the alts. They're, they're never going to be able to put this game into a console. They've, like Studfit has said, you know, at times he said, this is the future of Mario Kart. That's one extreme side of the opinion. I think that there's always going to be console, but you have a point that you can never do what you're doing here on a console. And I don't get why they've stopped. This is my big question. I really want to know from Jeeves, Studfit, and Rashid. I, I, I don't know what your spending is. I don't know if you're a full on, like I buy all the, I used to buy the packs, but like, why are they not doing packs? Like, well, I, wh wh what happened in the, the, when Gotcha went away, why did the $40 gliders, the $40 cards I, I would say go away? To give you more freedom of what you want to get with it. Instead of just kind of give you these, yeah. But are you guys buying the rubies, or are you just buying premium the three premium cards? I'll get the premium stuff, and then I'll get the ruby packs. 
They'll get Not the ruby packs. So you still do get ruby packs. I get ruby packs. All of them? What? No, only as needed. If I get like, if I'm, if I'm, because I, I basically use it for coin rush and for my daily selects. Um, I don't get the cap stuff. That's, that's you know, that's still too that's too expensive for me. But um, I, I I really think they're trying to. Well, I don't know if they're trying to, but like I like the I like the freedom of choosing what I put my stuff into instead of just right. you know when they had the packs they had like a you know they would give you like a like I, I can't remember that well, let's say like a a nabbit pack or something right you know and even sure. if it was that kind of i really didn't need them but i would guess get it for the rubies yeah a lot of times it's just a throwaway or whatever yeah, yeah. so like yeah yeah, but I mean, look at how the yellow offer like debuted as a the only way to get it is to spend forty dollars. I just fi I figured that in this period there would be cards and glass where the only way to get it is to spend forty dollars. Yeah, so I, I don't mind just being yeah. really transparent with us. So you know, uh, I get the premium challenges, so it's it's two per month of like all all three, uh, the pl the regular, the plus, and the yeah. plus plus. So. You know, right, right there. We're talking about maybe a hundred dollars a month, and then um, I probably I, I get the packs where when necessary. So all of that I get are the driver ticket from the tier shop, and then anything that comes to my daily selects. So you guys see my data on the daily selects. It ranges from tour to tour, but for the most part, you know, I get like what 0. 0.7 or something for a, a level ticket uh, per day, like uh, like less than one one uh, high end um, driver cart ticket uh, or glider ticket in my shop. So. I typically will get like 140 Ruby pack, but yeah, if you came with other things, maybe I would get more. Maybe I wouldn't. I probably wouldn't just just because uh, I don't. I mean, see I would say ever since the, the, the ever since that big update with when I get rid, of, I'm spending less. To be honest with you. Yeah, I guess that's that's what I'm getting at. I guess, and and yeah. that's just that's just to your bigger question: Are they sunsetting this game or trying to segue people in the switch? But like I said, even if they like when this booster course pass ends and they add, let's say they add six characters and you got all the tracks. You still, they still could do a character booster course pass that because no one thought they were even going to do Birdo and these others. They could do a whole if they say, okay, we're not releasing Switch Two for not till twenty twenty seven. We got like a few more years. We're going to milk this. We're going to let Tears of the Kingdom have its time, and you know maybe Odyssey Two. We're going to stretch this all out. They could do a character booster pass. Bring in, they would still not bring be able to bring in all the alts. And even if they brought in all the alts, you can't play reversed trick. Um, right, right. I, they're not doing any of the remix yeah, I mean, tracks. Mario, I, I mean, it, I think it just goes to show that Mario Kart Tour is is its own unique game. It's, it's yeah. Not so why aren't they, why are they why have they put us in a place where people are not spending what they did before? I really I don't know. I, I just don't understand. Yeah, I mean they they could they could dangle some stuff in front of us. Uh, what I think is interesting about technology now versus back you know in the nineties and or early two thousands was like the the technology was literally like doubling quadrupling and like the the bit rates and like how things were progressing back then yeah. to where they needed a system like every two or three years because the technology was evolving that quickly you know right now we're, we're you know basically the switch is a computer you know like in oh. in, a, in a device and so like what are they gonna do come out with a switch two and it's you know it, i don't know like the joystick's a little different like it's really like we we've we've there, it's not evolving that that much like I, it's cheaper uh, but yeah. like other than that like the technology has hit like a, uh, a point well, of diminishing return where it, like it actually makes sense to just kind of sit on this system for a while sell games sell other stuff yeah. and then you know like like pull out the the apple uh business model of like hey now you gotta buy all new hardware to well, I, yeah, so and sure, I, would, yeah. I would also i would also add that i think you know the game's been around for over three years now so I think they're trying that maybe they're trying to gain new players still, maybe because of these repeat badges, something. And <laughs> wait, hang on, I know you're gonna say something. And I think if you give people just like the rubies and stuff, they get more power on what they can what they can invest in. And there's now three years into the game, there is so much out there. We have the rundown, we have we have Rashid, <laughs> we have Analab, and all that stuff. It. They know we have. There's all this stuff on Discord that you can find that wasn't there a year, two and a half years ago. We just had to. We were just force fed it. Now there's so much stuff out there where we can, you know, people can actually research. Say, okay, I have this. I'm gonna go into Discord or I'll go into YouTube and I'm gonna watch the rundown, 
And I'll, I'm going to make that decision based on that. We didn't have that two and a half years ago. So I think maybe they're relying on, okay, there's so much content creators and data gurus out there. They're going to go to those and we're just going to let them do what they want and have that power. And that's what attracts them. Just another thought that came to my mind. Um, I, I like that, by the way. I, I, I love that spending is down for me too. I don't buy any yeah. of the premiums. I, I, <laughs> I, haven't, I haven't had to buy a cart or glider. But uh, just, I, I'm not about Frenzy Pandora saying, are they trying to slowly move us to the switch? I don't know, because then you have examples like Prana Plant Cove. Prana Plant Cove, they did not have to release it right now. I Yes, they might have to release all the Nitros by the end of the Booster Course Pass on both platforms. But right now, the Mario Kart 8 players, it is an incentive to log into Mario Kart Tour and play. I, you could argue they're trying yes. to bring people here as well. I mean, yeah. Larry Winter's time, like that, it, it's it's such, it's a silly little lightweight, fun coin box all, but at the same time, that suggests that there, if you told me Mario Kart had, Tour had like a 15 year plan, I would believe you because, okay, we're re repeating all this stuff. We are stretching this out as long as possible. So I, I just, you could see. Well, so, way. so what I like, what I, you make a good point because think about it, like we have Dr. Tour 2023. Yeah, we'll probably have Doctor Tour twenty twenty four, Doctor twenty twenty five, Doctor twenty twenty four five, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty. Like, like they're they're making it so that it is scalable, right? If yeah, they do scalable. a mushroom tour and then they do like you know because they have Mushroom Ridge and then they have to do like something else tour, it's like no, no, yeah. no we're, we're we're not playing by your rules, fans. Yeah. We're playing by our rules. We're making it easy for us by just throwing names on stuff, slap them on. But like we're we're bringing you what you actually want, which are new characters and new tracks. So and there's so many tracks that now when one comes back, like Coconut Mall, it's actually rough because we haven't we're we excited don't see about it as it. much. Yes. All the new tracks are like basically non-city nitros now. Like you you even classify them, I think, the same now. Yeah. Uh like Luigi Raceway, like you know, when that comes back, it's actually can't wait. Be fun. Yeah, <laughs> it was like, it's boring. Not even I was like I, what is this track? This is so boring. But now I'm like, yeah. I can't wait. I don't even yeah. remember what drivers are on it. I'm like, yeah. already my spreadsheets are making me uh, fill those gaps. Honestly, yeah. Aggressive bots gets go back to Luigi Raceway. Wow, they went nasty. <laughs> All right, so we're on such a positive note. <laughs> I want to totally take a dump on that because we have <laughs> Sammy D's to birthday okay, tour coming up, and we have a potential. Level nah, it's not nine. no because no because no, they were, I was hoping I was hoping we would go this we point. are 100 percent talking about level nine. No, we're not oh, getting it. We're not, oh, it, it, it's not a it's not an issue. We're not getting it. I've said we're not getting it. We would have yeah. they would they would have announced a tour he's early. Celebrating Sammy's birthday. It's his birthday, he knows nine. Sammy's last, birthday. <laughs> last year they announced it a whole tour early. So it's definitely not happening this tour. I mean, it might be happening on the tour after. If if you see in the next tour a message from the Mario Kart tour team, that is the sign. Uh, but until that happens. If yeah. we see a message from Mario Kart tour about level nine in the next tour, I'll take my shirt off next. <laughs> <laughs> you no, know, wow. you really want to do it. Why don't you just take it off now? This is. No. <laughs> I mean, I've already I've already taken my shirt off, so I'm just saying <laughs> Um, all right, so anyone anyone think the level nine is still is still coming for Sammy D's celebration? No, no, not happening, not happening. Uh, they don't think like like you said, they're they're not they're on player on their they're playing on their rules. Like we will release it when we want to. It's not like once every year in February. It's yeah, just now not that, gonna be now that we now that they're watching this and they see we all say no, they're gonna <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean I, I I think it's a legitimate question. You know, we got that little shimmer of the eights, and they could certainly put that shimmer on the nine. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, but then but nine feels like it, it's like such a weird number. Like then they have to do 10, you know. Yeah, and yeah. I will say with my account. Oh, man, it's so tough, right? So, like, if they if they wanted, hypothetically, if they wanted to release level nine, what would they do, right? They would give us more tickets. They would yes. So yes. so like, and, and in some ways, they're already kind of doing that. They're giving us like these uh, tokens. I, I know that, and I think I think to go full circle, I think that's why they've nerfed some stuff, right? Because they they've they they given us more opportunities to get tickets, but then they realize, you know, maybe we should probably. It's either it's either we nerf this. Or we release level nine. Right, they're right. gonna be. They're gonna hate us if we release level nine. So let's just change mm -hmm. some some of the data fields and mm -hmm. and kind of nerf these things. They won't probably care. They'll That's think they they'll we're gonna win in the long run because they're gonna see that we're not at level nine and they're not gonna want to just you know break down our doors uh, at our headquarters. 
So, <laughs> I, you know, I think that the nerfing is coming in exchange. Now, I know Frenzy fans, you have you have quite a, a thought of that, like, you know, what if we stopped investing in things or what if we stopped taking things to all the way to max and maybe, you know, Nintendo might change some things. What's your thoughts on level nine? I personally don't think it's coming on the same timeline as level eight did. Cause you have to think like, I think one of the big reasons why they dropped level eight was because people had level seven max out. Like I remember seeing all of the well screens just like shimmering yeah. right now. They're releasing items faster than they ever had before. And it's way harder to take anything from level seven to level eight than it is to take something from level six to level seven. So like, there's no incentive right now to do that. Like nobody's bored out of their mind being like, I can't yeah. level it. It's only uh, Kareem's like, screen that's shimmering. Kareem. Kareem. I was going to say, <laughs> only Kareem's <laughs> screen is, is shimmering. Yeah. yeah. And like add all the new tracks. Good Lord. No, I think it's going to come at a weird pace than all the, the past, like, yearly. We, we also don't have the gotcha for level ups anymore. So the, the, there's just, yeah, a, lot of, there's just a lot of roadblocks. So that's why it's not as easy as it was in the past. Yeah, that's a very good point. Yeah, at the rate that they're releasing all these new items, the and they're the releasing movie. all these new tracks and variants, right? So now we have RTs of everything. Um, we have double tracks released every tour, it seems. Uh, even cities, like we're getting like two cities every tour. Um, yeah, I, I think it's they're making yeah. things harder to keep up with everything. And, and then even the Mies, like they don't have like a huge amount of coverage. And so, you know, even if you're investing in Mies, like, you know, it's not going to cover you, but so much. Um, yeah, I don't know. They're, they're that It's either that or level nine in, in some ways, if you think about it, like they, they something's got to give one way or the other. And maybe this is their solution. Listen, just just shot in the dark. Maybe they created the shimmer because they knew the gotcha removal was coming and they knew there was going to be no level nine. Wait, say that again. Maybe the shimmer was created because they knew the gotcha was coming. They knew we couldn't pull for duplicates anymore. So maybe level nine is not in the plans because maybe with the switch and everything coming up and the, and the deluxe, they're not going to they're not going to bring a level nine. See, they could still fill out loadouts with fresh un unregularly buffed drivers right don't you think stuff it i mean couldn't they like if they keep releasing new drivers we don't have to go to level nine still for a long time right well because you can just put new fresh loadouts on on tracks yeah you know it's it's been weird right so because i i thought about that too but the thing is is that like what's been weird is that they they give us good coverage like, you know, some old coverage and stuff. They actually have been pretty generous with the coverage on certain tracks and other tracks not. So like a good example would be like this tour, the Prom Plant uh, one, they've given us some pretty good coverage. I even look at the carts and you have like, you know, like the um, Shield Speedster, you know, and, yeah. and, and, and Yellow Off-Roader, yeah. like these great carts. And then like Prom Plant two, just like a wasteland, just, Garbage. you know, uh, or uh, on, on week two of Ranked, this tour, the drivers on Prime Plant One uh, R, I think it is. Uh, it's just or RT, maybe. Um, it's it's completely barren. Like we just have basically Toad, Toad Astronaut, or what is it? Uh, one other, I think maybe awesome. the new Explorer. Black um, Explorer. But it's 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 like, <laughs> what am I supposed to do here? But then like the other track is just copious amounts of options. Uh, so I don't know. It's it's very odd. It's like they. they they're, they're specifically making ones harder than other. And I think maybe that's part of the strategy, right? Is that if they did it with both tracks, like they made both tracks too easy or both tracks too hard, maybe we're like, ah, this well, is- Well, it's also easy. their way to increase revenue. So we know everybody, it's the Ice Mario effect. We need, uh, you, everybody's got a level one. So we need you to spend money on the Goomba Me suits. Well, that, and add the, the effect that tier 99 was in play. I think a lot of people, you know, they saw like, okay, everyone's close to tier 99 or a step away. They they pulled out all the stops because a lot of people got really rough ranks. So by the way, I I think so. We kind of talked about this this character, right? This this little nephew, uh, nephew Stevie, and uh, Stevie. I, Let's just I, call him I, Little Jeeves right now. There I like we go. No, because yeah. no, that, no, that's no, a no, negative association. No, no. Yeah, we don't want your your no, we don't want little chiefs to be associated. That's with fine, Mike. Kid. But there there was that that guy, that guy who put Ice Mario in the only by himself on the top shelf. He still works there. It's it's <laughs> Devious Dan. Devious no Dan is throws himself every once in a while. He throws himself at our situation. Devious Dan, I promise you, still works there. He, it was his idea, and he 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 he's come back. He's reared his little Danny head. 
No, so not Danny head. I'm sure you said that. Sorry, Frenzy fans, girl. But no, I mean, his Dan head, he, every once in a while, he pops in and he's done it with uh prom plant uh, RT uh, for whatever, like he, he, he will do it. That's just, it's the 2023 version of uh, a subtle, a subtle Dan. Um, I don't know. Devious Dan. I don't, I'm not a big fan of, but yeah, good points there. Um, I want to like hear Rashid. I want to yeah, Rashid. Wanna... What do you think? It's on, on level nine. Yeah. You up? Say again. Yeah. One more time about level nine. Oh, level nine. Oh, level nine will not happen. Yeah. Not at happen. all. With all the changes in the game, yeah, yeah, definitely trying to slow it down. Even the revenue looks like, you know, they're you know, maybe getting less because we're spending less. You know, the way, but even the, the, uh, the base player are probably spending less because you're getting enough rubies and just buy uh, just what you need. Try to get some uh, coins to provide them. So, level up tickets. So, in the end, yes, I think everyone is uh, spending less. So, trying to prolong the game, that's what I believe is happening. Prolong. So, level nine will not happen so soon. But it may still happen, it's still a possibility for it, for it to happen. Rash when Rashid says it, it's true. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Mr. Rashid. How are you? <laughs> Awesome, but yeah, it does. It did. It did. It felt. It doesn't feel ripe for it now. It, even level eight, as much as we didn't want it, it felt like yeah, we are pretty much ready. They're increasing the tickets, um, but it, the way it is right now, I mean, just look at like the normals and like maxing daily selects. I mean, you had forty. Even if in the best case scenario it was fifty, that's still like even it's going to make people like you guys feel just absolutely hopeless about getting tickets and we're just not there right now but if they do have a long plan if they have a 10-year plan then we drop level nine in a couple of years you drop level 10 in the a couple of years after that for the last ultimate thing or whatever they could conceivably do that can we talk more about this 10-year plan because <laughs> I, I get triggered when everyone says the game's dying because i don't think yeah. it is like i think the game has so much life in it and everything that they're doing like as competitive players, we get frustrated, but like the fact that they're still releasing me suits, they're still oh, giving us tracks, they're still oh, giving us. Oh, oh, hey, buddy. Yeah. No, absolutely. Characters. Like, I don't know. Like, the life has, the game has so much life in it. And like, just from a, like, an omni channel presence, like, if we think about this, right? When Frenzy Fanboy was saying, well, I think they're trying to get people from the mobile game over to the Switch yes but not to get them away from the mobile game like we're yeah. like we're a whole new generation of player right now where we're attached to our phones 24 7 but we also have switches so of course they want us to spend money on all platforms but i don't think it's like one over the other i think that was, i personally think the game is gonna be around for a long time yeah but they can't they can't end the game having a para bitty bud me suit but not a <laughs> waluigi me suit Right. Like the, just right. for example, you know, or, or releasing Spike. I mean, I hope we get Spike, uh, um, yeah. but they can't release Spike and not, you know, I mean, there's lots of original characters that you would think they would release. So I really do hope it's a long term plan. I, I love what Frenzy Fran, Fangirl just said that that was awesome. Uh, just the only thing I could add to that is please listen to, to the community and the changes we were asking for and some of the feedback that's being sent because you know, we're the lifelines of the game and we don't, we don't want to go anywhere and we love this game. So please just listen and just yeah. take it into consideration, please. There yeah. needs to go ahead, son. Well, I was just going to say like the, yeah, the, thing, that... the thought of process is if, if, uh, if a switch two comes out, yeah, you know, I'll probably buy it for my sons. I might buy them a game or two, but like, you know, when it comes to like how, how we are consuming, how we are playing games or like how people are, on the go all the time we're always like you know uh not necessarily at home at, at like in front of a tv like this is this is 2023 like we want everything mobile if i could just if i could get my food delivered to my house and um and other like uh amazon drop it off yeah. stuff, sh drop shipping i don't know like i just i just think that uh things are changing to the point where not all of us can just sit in front of a TV at our at our house in our in a room. I don't I don't know. To, to me, to me, I think like as much as mobile phones will be a part of our life, this will game will be a part of our life. I you know I think that they are are I think to to wrap everything up here. In my opinion, I think that that they've nerfed everything, made everything been scalable. Like I think that's really important. 
They've made everything scalable. They don't have to come out with brand new special pipes ever again. They don't have to come out with brand new packs ever again. They don't have to come out with new titles of things ever again. Yeah. All they have to do is come out with new characters and new tracks. And if they focus on that, everything else is scalable. This, this game could go on for 15 years. Yeah. And I think and that- like earlier, I was joking that we're spoiled, right? But really what I think it is, is like we are a whole new generation of content consumers and I think Mario Kart Tour being like a fan favorite for all of Nintendo is a, not an experiment like in a wooey way, but like it's, it's an experiment and it's going to be a data point for them moving forward where how do we get people to have a mobile game? How do we get people to sign in every single day and keep them interested and keep them on a game for 10 years? That's not something they've really ever had to do before. So I think that this is, I think they're dumping tons and tons of money into this game, but it's for the future of Nintendo. It's weird because they've dabbled in mobile gaming. Like Mario Run did okay. Fire Emblem Hero, like you said, is doing really great because it's a certain like audience. But they they had a Zelda mobile game they were going to make and they completely scrapped the whole thing. And then there was a, a Pikmin mobile game and it just didn't do well. And there were reports at the time that Nintendo was going to stop development on all mobile games. They, they This whole time they've been like in the moments, like what's happening? Are we going to back out? Are we going to stay in? And I think you've seen that even happen in the last like year and a half, like between the the filler era of the of pandemic and then when the booster course pass was announced. And they, I really think they called in people. They're like, "We need you back in the office. We are doing more tracks. You know, we are going yeah. to go longer than we thought." Um, and it could change yeah, again. Think, you know? Yeah, I would think like you know when when they had that quote that filler era and stuff. You know, you could say yeah, it was a pandemic or something. But I think they realized that this could this is this is a gold mine for them. And 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 I think they're they're I think they're 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 jumping on the opportunity right now. And you know, like I said, I, I mean, I don't know if I can still play this game for like ten years or stuff. But like, if they if, if it keeps going and 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 new people get involved and stuff, I'm all for it, man. Well, I'm just wondering if the loss of the gotcha demotivated them because everything just seems to have changed since the their lack of effort, motivation, just the badges, the, every everything just seems to be different less motivation effort uh, could be just a work in progress who knows are they, yeah are they slowly trying to get off this game in the next couple of years and move on to something else like uh, who knows who knows i, I think not. i think i think that uh the effort of having to be creative every single tour they just said you know what you know these guys they don't really care about that they don't care if it's called a mushroom tour like, the, yeah. like they're not going to judge us for that but they'll judge us if they if we don't have come out with an alt if we don't come up with a new cart and honestly, these carts are phenomenal. Like, I mean, look, you can't really see it, but these carts, guys, they're phenomenal. Like, they've actually done a much better job, in my opinion, this last year. And I don't think we give enough credit for them. Like, the different creative yeah. carts that they've given us. I don't know. I, I'm very optimistic on, on the yeah. future of it. I think that the mobile platform is, uh, the, like, they're literally on the frontier of what is going to be how we consume gaming in the future and so they're trying new things i think they just like in order for them to scale they have to they have to just say we have to cut all the, the other stuff all the fluff and we just have to focus on bringing new tracks bringing new whatever and um you know i i like what they're doing with the the deluxe and and, and, and incorporating that i hope it's i hope that, you know to to friends and fan gals point out, i hope that that's not overriding i hope that they're not just trying to kind of train channel us that direction I, but I, I don't think that they are. I think that uh, we have a, a huge fan base here. It's continued because of the deluxe. It's actually been growing. Um, we we welcome new new players, and I'm excited for what what's to come. It's uh, it's going to be an interesting year. And again, I, that's why I'm doubling down and throwing this brand new logo for the year. I'm I, I'm 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 set for 2023. I'm here. Sammy's here. Frenzy fans here. Like, let's go. We're we're all here. <laughs> we're all embracing it for uh, for what it's worth. Um, I will say. Uh, before, uh, we're kind of coming up on time, um, but we have to do a me check. Uh, I do not want to wrap this up uh, without getting into the me. So I put together a question. Every episode, we have to do a little me check just to kind of assess where we are with the me's, right? So I saw Sammy, uh, you were debating between PD and 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 Meaty, uh, <laughs> the me version of PD Piranha. Um, tell us, tell the community a little bit about how that uh, how that dilemma um, ensued. Uh, well, everything's a total case by case basis. Like what you need to do on that day for the points you need against those opponents to win ranked in the given for the reasons you want to win ranked. If it's placing second, third, first, I mean, there's so many factors. I I never really go 
I, I don't have any strict rules, you know, um, I have guidelines and principles, but like, I love original characters so much that even though PD on paper, regular PD does not make sense compared to the points I could earn from the me suit. I still wanted to do PD at the end of the day. It all just came down to what's the little, the, the fewest resources I can spend to get the outcome I want. And that's always the principle. So that's always going to, that's usually going to override things, you know, every now and then like, Jeeves and I, you know, we have our little Hakama DMs and we get all like lovey-dovey and I decide to take him to level eight, you know, it just happens sometimes. Um, but in general, no, I'm going to make just like in the moment, the best choice, but I'm I'm trying to keep all the future possibilities in mind. That's why I'm getting these me suits. Guys, big day today. I'm one me suit away as of today uh, from, from all. Yeah. I don't, I don't know if you saw, but today after seeing the new tour preview for doctor tour, there's nothing I want to buy with Ruby's next tour other than the me tax. So bought the three remaining. I just need the cheap cheap me suit now. So that's nice. You know, I uh, got it done and now, but, but just stuff so is frozen on his pog face. <laughs> that's amazing. <laughs> yeah. uh, but, um, but to I'll your point back. of like whale problems or future pro future are future problems. I think that I don't, I'm not good with math, but there's some kind of like line graph and where there's some, asymptote <laughs> asymptote yeah. or some term like that where your problems actually are always going to be like their own realm like i'm never going to have enough tickets to to max multiple me suits like and an occasional coin boxer or whatever but um, in in like two months you're gonna be filling out a frenzy fans calculator right. and you're gonna see like investing in a goomba suit or yeah. a spike suit yeah it makes more sense for you and so what i'll do is i'll say okay that week do i want to do that or will i have more fun doing see i like when i how can, how can i get by with doing as little as possible in terms of resource spending yeah i mean i'll, but, I'll add to that the thing is is in <laughs> with with the Mises, is i don't with this tour I almost want to think that they needed to change the name of the game to Mario Kart Tour because, like, there's <laughs> such, it's such a, I mean, they're such, uh, they're really forcing the Mies on us now. Actually, if especially with ranks, um, because uh, just the base points alone, the, the more in the Mies, the bigger the base points, and even if you have like a level two, yeah. Nine, you know, if I have a level three regular thing, but like with the base points, it's, it's, it's like, okay, well, they're forcing me to choose the me's. And yeah, I don't know if it's a good thing or not, first of all, but um, I've really noticed that. So like, it's, it's, they've really taken, um, you know, like really just kind of like in, invaded this whole segment of the game. And I'm, I'm really, I mean, yes, I have all the me suits, but now it's like I, I like the I like to invest in like just the the regular stuff because you know if there's a coin box or whatever, yeah. but it's just like man, it's you really have to think about it. And I don't I mean I don't know if this is a good thing or not to be honest with you, but the normal drivers still have better like track amounts. Yeah, like when you when you include the me boost, the cup boost, that's that's where it it, it really. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm sure I don't even so do. Yeah, yeah, I don't even do ACR like like right. you guys, but I know how often that's going to come like, up from like, from like a just a you know a, a fanatic and player. It's called Mario Kart Tour. Yeah, I, I know. Think, like, I, look, I wish they never did it. I wish they never did it. I I really do, but they yeah, did. I mean, I, mean I I get it, but it's it, I mean, do do I want to say it's getting out of hand? No, but. Uh, it's i mean even you see explore shy guy new lucky seven driver we haven't had one yeah. in a year we haven't had a year and all the top whales are and saying love, you know what i'm not even gonna bother and, and that's, that's it. it's such a cool looking driver and it's not lucky seven but like man there's so many like with these knees so they have to make those drivers really worth it you know yeah and it's but even i don't even know if that's helping now and I don't know if they can. I mean, they'd have right. to really give it so, good buff streaks, you know. That's why I'm just like, I think this game's been calling Mario Kart too, because like it's really they're really emphasizing it. And I don't know if it's a good thing or not. So if you want to get back on this controversial thing, it's the Mies. <laughs> that's my well, opinion. Yeah, I mean, honestly, it's 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 them reminding us it's their game and not ours, right. you know. Like, exactly. I, I I feel like that's kind of been the theme here. Rashi, what's your thoughts, man? I mean, obviously, you probably yeah, I do, if you think about it, if we did not have the miss, 
then uh, level nine gonna have come already. <laughs> level nine, yeah. you think? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's fair. Because, without, fair. Yeah, because it's it's stretching all, all of our resources, you know, between the regular drivers and the me suits. So without the me's, you could have used them on the other uh, drivers and already kind of. You know, many plans would have maxed at level eight already. Level nine would have come already. So yes, in terms of base point, it's, it's uh, unavoidable. Yeah, if you want to do a uh, top 100 this year, top 10 this year, yeah, you need to have the means, uh, at, least, at least the plus skill means that are maxed out. Yeah, I mean, at, 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 at high level, you know. Yeah, I think it's going to get even more interesting when if they, the more means they have, uh, when are you know when are the non plus skill means going to be more valuable than a coin box regular driver? Yeah, it, it's it's already happening. Yeah, yeah, sorry, yeah. happening. But yeah, but can but can you invest in all of them? Because I mean, maybe maybe a non maybe like you said a Goomba Mies racing suit might be a coin boxer on some random ranked cup that's going to happen in a month or two. But Where does you can't invest in all of the suits for all of those opportunities that might occur, right? So many or can happen. you? Am I am I missing something? Well, I mean, you're going to focus on I your plus skill me suits first, and then once right. those are done, like Kareem does, he moves on to the lower skill me suits. Right. He only focuses on the me suits. He doesn't go back to anything else. No, no, and, and it's that's, a cool, it's a, it's a cool, it's a cool meta of its own. You know, it's yeah. it's a fun game to play. I can I can see why that would be fun, and it, yeah, I dabble so in, in a it. Way, in a way, he's helping with the longevity of the game. If you think about it. What so, did you say? so here, yeah. So I, I can I can help. Uh, so think about it, right? So if you say you're Nintendo and you say to yourself, "Holy moly, we got to get rid of the pipes." Like, like our, your boss comes in, says, Hey, by the way, you know, you have this TPS reports. Uh, I need you to stop. <laughs> I need you to stop having pipes. Like, and you're like, what do you mean? Pi stop having pipes. We need pipes. pipes. That's what people play this game. We got to stop the pipes, man. Uh, like, like we're gonna get, this game's going to be done. What do we got to do? All right. Well, well, we can, uh, we can come out with, uh, we can just come out and just stop at level eight. So if we stop at level eight, what do we got to do? Well, we got to come up with more drivers. Like, like, well, we can't just come out with like five new drivers every tour. Well, what if we came out with just two new drivers? Then we released a new me suit, different colors. You know, yeah. like like that's that's part of it. Um, well, what if we you know if we nerfed some of these other pipes? And what if we we you know brought this in? What if we just gave them like this and that? I don't know. To me, like it all makes all everything we've just talked about makes sense if they kept level eight at level eight, and that's the max. So. Yeah, to your point, like, yeah, double the drivers without doubling the drivers. That's what the mysteries are. Yeah, I think so. So Sammy was saying we're not going to be able to invest in all of them. However, Nintendo, I think if we, I'm curious, I would be willing to bet that from this point forward, that as far as top shelf on ranked, it's going to be more enticing to invest in a me suit than it is a non me suit. So uh, like two tours ago, um, for one of mine, it was the yellow me racing suit. And I was like, man, there's nothing else on this top shelf that's worth yeah. it except for this guy. So I took it to six, two, we see Sammy, uh, cause you took the, the P the PD suit, right? You leveled it up instead of actual PD. Uh, I think I got through without having to do too much. Uh, any you took it on the floor, though, right? I took it on the So, yeah, I was like three tickets so on the floor. You did spend the tickets on the yes. me suit, yes. not the yes. regular character. Yes. There was yes. someone in my ranks who had both PD and me PD at level one and ended up taking me PD to 8 4. Wow. Just for the heck of it. Four. <laughs> and Mod wow. completely like obliterated me. And so I it think, is. I think what Nintendo's going to do is they know that we can't invest in all of them, but if they want us to stay competitive, they're going to put us into corners where it's going to make sense, more sense to, for that ranked, invest resources into something that will give us the boost for that particular ranked mm -hmm. versus the longevity of yeah. that item. So for me with the yellow me racing suit, I was like, ah, I really don't want to take this to six, two, if I can use it like maybe two or three more times, 
like in the future, then I guess I'll be okay with it. And I ended up using it this week. Well, and, and it's lucky it's a giant banana one. You know, I think stuff is example, like the goom was like, you don't really want to be doing double coin frenzy with like a, a minus skill me suit, but there might be those times. But the, what you, the scenarios you're talking about, just to defend myself for a second, because a lot of people say, Sammy, you're why are you buying all the me suits if you're not even, you haven't invested in blockhead yet, you're not really investing in them yet my whole plan is so that I will have the option to do it whenever I want to switch into that mode, I'll be ready. Uh, everything, yeah, all the yeah. foundation is yeah. built on the base points. And so right. that's, I was like, what else am I gonna do with the rubies right now? You know? So I do still think people should be, like you said, it's never too late to start collecting them, um, especially at the sale price. So. This yeah, is what I think, I'm calling it the Mirio cart tour now. Yeah. yeah, we heard the part. Yeah, um, no. So I think I think when it comes <laughs> when it comes down to like players, there was there was a while at first. There was a while at first where people were like, "I'm not doing the mees and like I'm not doing it because I can't yeah. afford it." And I, I, I and at first like I understood that part, but when I when I said like it's never too late, it's because like you can't afford to not do it at this point to to, to invest in some. Or to have some investment in me's and you know like it's never too late because i feel like people will like they're like ah i'm still fighting it i'm still fighting it and i understand it's, it's not it's not easy it is like a tax uh you actually have to like fork it over and it's it's uh it's unfortunate but like if you if for where the game's at right now you want that option right to, to, to frenzy fans point like you know hey if this is if this is the rank i want maybe I have to, I'm, I'm so close to 99 or i'm so close to whatever i can i can go up or uh, this is the prize I want. Maybe this is the me suit with a plus skill. And yeah. you're kind of like, you know, waiting, keeping your resources. Maybe you're, you're, you're ending in fifth place or something for a couple of ranks. But then when you get something you want, you know, you're going all in. And, and you, ha you won't have to have that thing at one to, to be able to take it to eight. That's how the game is. You just have to have it. And then you can take it up to whatever you want when you need to do it. But, you, but this, this, has to be, this has to be orchestrated for months in advance. You have to be getting these Mies, just collecting them every so often. Again, it doesn't have to be all of them. Exactly, it doesn't have to be all of them. And, right. I, and so you want to talk about the cap? Because I know that's what you're going to well, talk about. Well, the cap, but uh, Professor Jay, I don't know if you read my members chat this week, but Professor Jay is one of my, he's, he's one of my favorite minds because he, has, he comes Jay. out he comes out of nowhere and he's like, I did all this math for you and check this out. And he showed me that if I bought the five me suits this tour, the advantage it would give me in this week's ranked with that PDME suit is actually nowhere near the advantage I would get if I just spent more tickets on PDME. The, the, the advantage from spending a high-end ticket is so much more than having like four or five more me suits. But long-term, you know, that's why I like getting the 70 me suits. You almost don't know your, notice that their your 70 rubies are gone if you just get one every tour, you know? Sure. Um, so, yeah. But what I think about yeah, it's just it, a, what's cool. What's cool now is that technically, like all these me suits, all forty or fifty or whatever there are of them, they're all basically double capped right now. Yeah. Like, yeah. I don't know. Uh, yeah. Uh, that's that saved me seventy cap tickets. You know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, if you think Absolutely. about it that way, to yeah. start with. And where is the cap? I mean, <laughs> this is crazy. A a, a para bitty a para bitty bud me suit. That's like number 179 on like the priority list of me suits. But he's double cap. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. So uh by I, the way, it must mean there's so many more coming, my right? toad space, space toad. 800. While we're while we're on this still on this topic of me's, the question is about this spike, right? So uh, are we getting spike? Are we getting are, are we getting spike and the spike me kind of similar to this PD and PD me? <sighs> hopefully but just do a lot of the youtubers said we are getting spike confirmed please do not say that yeah. nothing is confirmed until we say it so we, we, had, a do, we had a we had a goomba me there's no goomba ex driver exactly was, now some people say goomba's all the fans bowser me suit <laughs> what's that what where, where was the new bowser alt with the bowser me suit yeah well point being like if you look at our new characters so like yeah, PD, yes, admit he came, but Goomba, no, and Chain Chomp. I know these guys don't have arms, <laughs> but <laughs> there's some logistical issues, yes. Uh, and, and you know, PD, PD had like PD's got big like pedigree as like a legacy driver, he's from Mario Kart Double Dash. So right. I hope we get Spike. Um, I, but you know, you made a point a few cart talks ago of like, is this their way of doing character diversity? You get a spike. We can't do spike, but here's a spike me suit. 
that's super disappointing to me. If we're starting to get like new characters yeah, only as spike me driver. suits, yeah, yeah, we need spike. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm still waiting for my Kamek me suit. Wait, There's no Daisy me suit. Oh. There's so many left. Like it's so it's sad right now. Well, good guys. Uh, so uh, we've we have surpassed our two hours here together. Can you believe it? It's flown by. Wow. It always does, man. It always does. Um, good. No, I think we hit a lot of the topics and, and even hit some that we hadn't. But it's been an absolute pleasure hanging out with you guys. Um, so you know, I think this is uh, one of the times where we reluctantly kind of have to kind of wrap things up, but. We still kind of like let it live on a little bit longer. So one of the, one of the things we did last year was, you know, what, what piece of advice would you have for new players? We pretty, pretty well exhausted that. In fact, Puffy put together a list for me. Uh, and I wanted to put together a video, but um, yeah, I, I, uh, I do, I do want to kind of just get something off my chest for a little bit, if that's okay. Um, so about two, two weeks ago, um, I was part of a uh, pretty large um, software tech layoff. So um, I've been for the last two weeks. That's why you haven't really seen me as much in the discord. Um, I was along with like 60 other people, uh, which was you know, a lot of people in the organization for this startup, um, was, was laid off. And so for the last two weeks, I've been, um, pretty heavily looking for a new opportunity. And, uh, honestly, it's been, it's been extremely refreshing. I've had so many people reach out. Um, you know, I've, uh, I've been very, very blessed. In fact, I know that, uh, in my next role, I probably, um, it, it's, it's going to be certainly not even a blessing in disguise. It's definitely a blessing. Uh, I, I'm definitely going to be, um, pretty excited about the opportunities that I've been pursuing. So, um, I don't want you like, there's no, I don't want to feel any type of pity or anything like that, but, um, for me, uh, with my channel, I've been pretty, pretty excited about, uh, the direction it's going. I personally haven't been spending a lot of time in discord, but I just want to send a special thanks. And this, 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 uh, this new collage was a way for me to just to thank the fans. Again, that's why it doesn't have like my favorite items, but a lot of the community's favorite items. Um, just thank you guys so much for the support and uh, whether it's, you know, been vocal in our, uh, in our channel or, or whatnot. Uh, it's been, it's been honestly, um, I don't know. I think in life, we're always looking for ground spots, like places where we feel um, support and feel ground. And I feel that with this channel, this is something that, um, as chaotic as life has been over these last two weeks, um, I, I felt, uh, the love and I felt the, the, the groundedness of, of everybody. So thank you guys very much for, uh, everything you've done. And thank you for you guys who are, uh, those fans who are watching, um, the, the live stream for those who are here. I appreciate, uh, appreciate you guys. Just, you guys are awesome. And I appreciate all the love and support. And so, um, I, as we move into 2023, one of the questions I've been asking is what, what's one thing that's um, that you'll be trying out this year? What, what's one thing that uh, that you feel like you want to uh, to push yourself in one way or another? Uh, and uh, I've been asking about the game, but I think I'll open it up because we do have uh, the doctor tour coming up. We have a healthy challenge. So I'd like to just ask you guys, you know, what's one thing that you'd like to be able to do and, and challenge yourself this year in or out of the game? So um, Sammy, I know you've kind of been probably uh, mauling your, uh, having thoughts about a healthy challenge. I'll let you kick us off. But honestly, Sammy, um, from day one in this channel, you've been uh, instrumental to me and uh, and and just so supportive in so many different ways. Even just mentioning the channel every so often, um, I don't know, it tickles me every time I hear it. Just like, oh, check out the rundown on Friday or Saturday, whenever it comes out. Um, so you've just been a huge support system for me in this channel. Again. I, you know, if I'm forever a niche channel that, uh, that just, the, just the nerds watch, um, I'm totally cool with it, but, uh, just, I just want to, I honestly owe you a lot and, and, uh, oh, a huge thank you just for your support. So thank you. And, uh, what, what kind of, uh, new thing would you challenge yourself in or out of the game this year? Thanks, man. Um, I wish you all the best with, with all of it this year. Um, to, I don't know. There, I mean, there's so many things I, Golly, I, 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 I mean, I'm, I'm in a place in life in general where I'm really trying to be like, how can I get closer to that ideal version of myself that I see, you know? Um, and it's like a lot of times you have to just go like path of least resistance. Like um, I have all the, I could write a whole list of goals. I mean, I know Frenzy Fangirl is really good at like the daily journaling and writing out your intentions. And I, I believe in that stuff too, but I'm not, I'm not even good at doing that sometimes. And so it's more like, golly, can I just get better at, you know, putting my laundry away, you know, um, 
doing the dish, like the Thank humbling, the humbling tasks of every day uh, to make my partner's life easier and um, be a better son, you know, be a better friend. Um, I don't know. I lost my dad uh, four weeks ago. So yeah. similar to you, like kind of crazy time right now, just like a lot of things are all the cliche things that you feel and think are true. It's like that part of you is gone uh, in the real world, but they're inside of you now and, and, or they always have been, and you are them and they're you. And um, like, how can I live a, a life as, as prolific as my dad did as an artist and creator? I, I'm going through all his photos of like all the work he did, furniture and drawing and paintings. Yeah. And there are hundreds and hundreds of pieces of furniture. And I'm like, I, I, I I will never, I, the only thing I've been as prolific about is making videos about Mario Kart tour. And it's like, <laughs> is that, and then I'm like, is that a good use of my creative energy? And I'm like, well, I guess it, it just is what I feel called to do right now, right now, at least, you mm -hmm. know, um, and it'll shift over time. So I, don't know, I that's kind of my just like rambling answer to your question. Um, Thank you for sharing that. I definitely need to like, get my studio in order like one of the reasons i blur my background is like this is this isn't my mario kart studio this is just like my art studio and you know ever since i moved to the new house it's been all over the place that's not gonna unpack boxes so i just i need to get my my creative space in order so i'll, I'll just say that's my goal <laughs> <laughs> i like it i like it yeah. I know Frenzy fans, girl, uh, you made uh, your declaration of what you were going to do every tour going for. You were going to get top one, top 10, right? You said <laughs> decade tours in a row. no, but take it more seriously, she said. Yes. Yeah, so, so I'm curious, you know, you don't have to necessarily uh, take it that direction, but is there an update on that? Or uh, would you like to, to, you know, reset those goals a little differently or, uh, and even kind of taking the new caveat of it outside the game too? Yeah. So I think for me, um, Life is, I don't want to say weird, but for me, like life, I'm multifaceted in some ways, I guess. So like I have yeah. a cart that I love, but I also run like a pretty decent sized business right now that's just growing. Um, so it's kind of like the balance of how do I continue to have really fun in this game, but also pursue like personal and like long-term goals. Like it's interesting, like once you start hiring people, how you're responsible for other people's lives and it's it's just this really interesting balance that I'm kind of like learning right now in life so for me um I think I have been taking the game more seriously even though it might come not come across that so like just the other what was it like two weeks ago you guys all a lot of you guys saw me like live trying to cram my entire tour <laughs> into like the last two hours yeah, of it, and yeah. it was it was a crap show, right? But at the same time, like it was one of the busiest weeks in business and we were traveling and doing all these fun things. So I think for me, um, my biggest goal is finding balance in all of it, but also like just every day improving a little bit in every single area of my life and being patient enough with myself in that process to not expect like perfection or top 10 runs or, you know, I don't, I don't have to have a million dollar a year business by the end of this year. And I don't have to be a top 10 player by the end of this year. But as long as in each area, I'm improving just a little bit, like mm -hmm. that's a win for me. So I don't know if that was a solid answer, but that's a great answer. I love it. With my like, card tour, like, I have been taking my account more seriously. So like I have my spreadsheets up to date. And so even though it's not coming across like to the community as like, oh, she's killing it. Like that's like a small habit that like I'm trying to implement and yeah. um also just deal. giving myself permission to like do the things I love in the game so like I just took the blue crawly cart to eight four like I maxed Ooh. it out because it's killer for my rank wow. this week wow. yeah, yeah, yeah. he's impressed <laughs> I, don't like I don't know like also just like celebrating those small mo moments in the game so I don't know it brings me joy and it always will for the next 15 years that the game continues yes Yes. Frenzy fans guy. What about you, man? Yeah. So I think this year, um, I think I'm going to try and make a more concerted effort to focus my energies on, uh, what brings me like fulfillment, I guess, um, growing up and for the longest time, I've always valued, um, security way more than anything else so i took the very typical path of going through school getting degrees and 
you know, getting on with a job that has, you know, benefits and, mm -hmm. and at the time, the, the, the job that I'm currently working at, uh, it did bring me fulfillment. Um, but I've been doing it for 10, 11 years now. And I think that there are some other things in life that uh, when I talk about it, or when I start to to, 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 to do something with that. I think I find more fulfillment in these other things. And so for me this year, I think it's going to be trying to make that transition from the comfortable to the maybe not so comfortable, but doing something that I know is going to be like more fulfilling for me. Um, that's scary. Like that that's freaks scary. me that's out <laughs> <laughs> like, like big time. And so, um, yeah, I guess just kind of along that that note, I'm super grateful for Frenzy Fangirl and for all of the hard work that she's put in to uh, like our team to be able to kind of make this conversation like an actual reality instead of just a pipe dream. Mm -hmm. um, so I don't know what 2023, 2024 is actually going to bring, but uh, just the way that things have been unfolding and are unfolding in my and our lives um, I don't know. It kind of feels like there's this, we're, we're coming up to this precipice where there's this leap of faith that's going to be required <laughs> and it's going to be interesting if it's something that I actually do, or if I kind of like meander around the precipice and try and figure out where the bridge is. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Well, I'm sure even moving you guys moving out to, to Utah was a big deal too. Just, I mean, that's, that's a leap of faith in and of itself. Yeah. That's awesome, man. That's exciting. Go for it. Okay, cool. We're rooting for you. If there's any yeah. way we can help, let us know. Um, I think Jeff just said he wants to work on his tan. Um, right, Jeff, <laughs> what's, what's what's your uh, what's your plan of attack here? Uh, you know, I, I I really don't have one. I thought I was just kind of, you know, last time. Uh, I thought I was just kind of was kind of done and achieved what I could, and then. I still like playing the game. I don't, like whenever I when I said like I was just kind of gonna go. I'm, like, oh, I'm still gonna play the game. I might dabble in music more. I like you know. I like I love music. I'm still I'm still uh, getting more into that now. Um, uh, you know, in terms in terms of life stuff. But like you know, after what happened last tour, like there's again this kind of new passion and seeing like what's gonna happen next with players because like there's a lot of cool people in this community. I think a lot of people don't really notice that. I think we always look at the drama and like just oh, what this person's doing, but there's a lot of great people here, and it's not just us. And uh, you know, for being, I think for us now being around day one players, most of us day one players, you know, I I'm excited to see like you know what to see what 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 the what the newer folks can do and uh, cheer them on. So I think in terms of the gamers, you know, perspective, that's kind of want to do i don't want to ever try for a top 10 again i mean if again if it falls in the place and rashid dms me when i'm sleeping and <laughs> saying hey okay let's talk um but like i'm never gonna like start like a day one tour and be like okay i'm gonna go for top 10 um but uh yeah i mean that, that's kind of all i mean i'm i'm, I'm excited for for all of that i mean i uh I, I, you guys pretty much all in this circle here are pretty much my inner circle and you know, some others, you know, uh, happy birthday, Sammy. Yeah. Happy level birthday. Nine. If level happy nine comes, I'm going to come over and beat the crap out of you. <laughs> well, can I just say one thing for, to G's, uh, a little shout out for him. Like I, 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 I talked about all my dad in my life, but really in the game, like this kind of stuff, the, the, the level eight have comma triple cap. <laughs> Like if it weren't for Jeeves, I wouldn't have probably done that because he, he wow. even though we're talking about, okay, be as, be as resourceful as you can. I just said, I don't ever like to do anything else. <laughs> I have to, there's this other part of me that's totally emerging. And it's probably because now I feel like, man, I, I've done a great job with my account. You know what I mean? Like yeah. I can, cool. I can do some fun I don't things know how you... for, for myself now. And now if it's between two gliders or two carts and I'm looking at the tracker, like the PD me versus the regular PD, like I, if I really needed to like tear up and get 4,000 more points, I probably would have gone on regular PD because I I'm, I'm more wanting to do the things that just, I just like yeah. more. I just yeah. like I mean, this. You, you know, there, yeah. there's a, there's a, 
aesthetic or like a it's it's not just the competitive part of the game. Yeah. And sometimes I'll just do stuff. I think one time, like when I did when I did Pink Shy Guy Ninja, like I had no idea what he's gonna do, but I'm like let's just have some fun, you know, <laughs> see what happens, you know. And uh, I I think we need to see more of that. I mean, we don't. Uh, there's there's so much stuff being like, oh, I did this and did this. It's giving me great coverage. I like to hear people say, I did this because I like it. Like Draco. Yeah. Uh, Draco took a uh, his, his that crawl. I'm like, I, I I didn't recommend it, but he did it, and he's like, yeah, I love it. This is gonna be great. And friendly fangirl, God bless you. I mean, for doing yeah. that, I mean, just for fun, you know, it, it's supposed to have fun, and uh, and you get points out of it too. And I'm I'm trying to you know just kind of feel like if you know to 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 be a little bit more of a positive aspect on that, so. I don't know if that answers your question, to be honest with you. Yeah, you know, I think so. Uh, <laughs> it's fine. It's it's a Jeeves answer. It's good. Um, it's better to be positive, but it's, I ramble. <laughs> no, it's good, man. It's good, man. And honestly, like, uh, just to kind of let you guys uh, in on a little thing that we were doing in ER was uh, we just kind of, uh, like, world records is is something that um, I think it, it sets a standard for um, excellence. And I think like as an example, for those who aren't familiar with uh, elite racers, uh, you are. So one of the one of the longest um, and most prestigious uh, clans in in the Mario Kart Tour community. And we just said, you know what, we want people to uh, to go for world records. So we we did a little contest and then we did uh, put some monetary value to it. And we got 13 uh, new world records in January uh, from ER members. And shout out to Ivan, uh, who got uh I think like eight, eight of those. It was absolutely insane. Wow. He, he crushed it. Um, but Draco said, you know, I spent like 15 hours on one track to get a world record. And he's like, I'm so proud of that track. I, I, that's now my track. I know in Mario Kart tour, like history, like that's mm -hmm. the track I own. So there's like new ways that um, the community is finding joy in this game. And um, you know, Rashid was a huge part of that as well. And so um, I'd love to hear from you, Rashid, you know, from, from what I mentioned about, um, you know, what's one thing that you want to do this year in or out of the game that's uh, just going to push yourself a little bit uh, uncomfortable, um, you know, and honestly, thank you so much for joining. Uh, it's, it's been um, some like a bucket list for me to have you on. And, and sorry, we, we, we talked a, a little over, over much. Uh, so we didn't get to, to hear you yeah. quite as much. So that's on us. That's on our fault, but we love to have no, you back okay. again. It's okay. It's okay. We'd love to have you back uh, on again, but what, should, what, what would be, uh, what would be a nice little challenge for yourself? So uh, I would say, um, you know, talking about life in, in uh, you know, in a general way. So I'm thinking about having a better life balance, you know, between the work, family time, the play time with my workout too. So that's that's actually my number one goal for for this year. And on the health health aspects, so actually I have a shot with a. Bicycles, yeah. Bicycle, yeah. See that? Yeah, yeah. So I used to be an avid cycler, you know, uh, in these past few years, but haven't cycled in a while, you know, during the COVID time. And now with all COVID restrictions, I think it's a good time to resume cycling. So I'm thinking maybe it's awesome. time to cycle back again. Yeah. Nice. nice. Wrong, were were you were you big into track and field in high school? Oh yeah, yeah. That was my my young self. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was in uh, track and field uh, for like many years. So, yeah, yeah, I, I started practicing when I was 12 years old until uh, I think 21, and I competed at a uh, national level. So yeah, wow. I, yeah, my yeah, is about two two meter for high jump. Yeah, but that's just one one part. Yeah, I also did uh, high jumps. Yeah, yeah. I also did long jump, uh, long distance, middle distance. That's yeah. why you're so Everything. good with the measurements, man. Jeez. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, down to the centimeter, but now it's down to the pixel. <laughs> Man, amazing. And what would we do without Rashid's projections? Seriously. Seriously. And hitbox. <laughs> Every tour. Is Rashid's hitbox out? Is he measuring it yet? Is he measuring it yet? Is he measuring it yet? <laughs> Everyone yeah, yeah, on my yeah. Discord, man. Like, That's a big deal. It's a go goaded, man. Good to meet you. Yeah, it's just one thing to say. Maybe... Sometimes I, I'm a little bit late, you know, to, to, to come up with the projections, but that's just due to the time zone differences, because I'm uh, currently now with like a, a noon, you know, 40 minutes past noon. So it's a, yeah, different, very different time zone. 
So usually when you're awake and sleeping and, you know, vice versa. So that's why there is some kind of a delay. So I have to bear with me for that. Yeah. Rashid, you never have to apologize for that. Yeah, you're good. Man. No, you're People amazing. can wait. Appreciate People can you. wait. Yeah. 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 Awesome. Right, thank you. Last but not least, Z-Man, uh, what's, uh, what's one thing you want to challenge yourself in the game or outside the game this year? Uh, I'm going to go outside the game because um, other than getting a top 10, I don't really have much to really strive for in the game. Um, I just want to continue to be a better husband, a better dad, uh, just spend time with them both and just put the game down more this year. Um, this game's not important in comparison. I want to start getting into coaching my daughter's softball team as she starts getting older um, yeah. and just be there for her. You know, family's number one thing in my life, you know, and uh, spare time for Mario Kart tour will always be there. Um, so that's my priority in my life moving forward as she gets older. Um, and, you know, just pre COVID, I was very big into the gym and, you know, I got COVID very early in the beginning. I got it pretty badly, uh, back in March when, when it first hit. So it kind of derailed me a bit. So I, you know, I had to create my own home gym and all that stuff, me and my wife, but, uh, you know, I kind of miss it. And, uh, you know, moving forward, I want to try to this year, maybe get into some sort of routine because I've always been in pretty decent shape, but really let myself go a bit, you know, like most men after COVID hit. So uh, that's always been a big thing in my life that kind of went off the rails. So I want to kind of try to get back into some sort of decent shape. So when I get out of bed, I don't throw my back out <laughs> um, like I've been doing every year for the past three years. So, um, you know, kind of a mixture of those two things, you know are pretty important in my life and then you know the game will come third and then i'll always find time to do what i got to do with the game but uh family and uh keep myself right is always number one i like it man that's awesome well good guys well that concludes uh episode 42 of car talk uh i honestly it's been an absolute pleasure uh you guys all joining me and i'm excited for what 2023 has to store for us especially knowing now that level nine is not coming that makes me feel so much better i uh, honestly believe that um but no if you if you hey if you like these shirts uh they're now on etsy uh starting uh as of this morning that you guys are watching the premiere um I, again i'm so pleasured and, and so pleased and honestly i'm tickled and humbled just the fact that i have this channel and so many friends that i can rely on um Yep. in times where uh things are a little weird but um you know certainly uh sorry to hear about your loss sammy and, and uh thanks again for you joining us rashid uh absolute pleasure we'll hopefully have you again when we don't talk over you the entire time uh that's on us man and hopefully my camera works next time this is uh, <laughs> i had, had to work off the laptop camera not my uh my nice the actual digital camera but um thank you guys uh until next time i will see you on the rundown next tour uh but until next time Friends fans, you want to kick us off with this? You want to do this? Sure. And just for the record, to, to get the record straight, my unpopular opinion earlier, I did say that I was actually against it. I was just trying to bring up the the the, the counterpoint in you, you'll just have to go back. I did say that. <laughs> it's what? It's yeah. questionable. We don't even uh, remember. About about Mario <laughs> trying to transition everyone to oh, yeah. Twitch. Okay. Right. I was just trying to yes. bring up a counterpoint. It's not necessarily my opinion. Okay. I just want to make it clear <laughs> that <laughs> it was just a thought that I had, but I don't even know if I'm You're forgiven. convinced it's of okay. it. So anyway. <laughs> you have You're no welcome, man. You're awesome. <laughs> <laughs> With that, thanks everyone for joining us. And until the next episode, may the frenzies be forever in your favor. See you guys later. See you guys. See you guys. Bye.